Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast Early Morning Edition. I just woke up to this crazy news. It is bananas. Holy smokes. Um, I know that's something last night Sherry had posted something about like, you know, finally it's happening and I got a million messages about that and I went to sleep and then I woke up to this craziness. So, oh my gosh. We got to talk about it today. We going to talk about it. So, just waiting for pipe people to pop in. Where's everybody from? I always like to get a roll call. What time is it where you are? It is 8 o'clock here, which is like, I should be sleeping right now. <laughs> but first, coffee. I don't know. I should have grabbed a coffee. I'm stupid. Dang, maybe I'll ask my wife if she could bring me a coffee. I'm gonna take down the. I make the. Make it a little bit slower. You've never heard of eight passengers. Well, get ready, buckle up, because you' about to learn today. That's what's about to happen. So it's one o'clock in the uh, perfect. So that's good for you, okay? New York, your same time as me. So, hands up in the chat if you know who 8 Passengers is, right? Thumbs up if you know, thumbs down if you don't know. I need to know who knows what. Prince Edward Island, where the potatoes grow, I think, or something. Uh, a lot of people know, a lot of people know. Okay, so most people know what's going on. That's why you probably ran over here when I did this live. So I guess let's... No, we just, we're just starting to talk about it right now, Roxy. So let's start here. Okay, so way back in the day, I started covering, when I started YouTube, uh, Micah Stoffer. And it quickly evolved into talking about other family vloggers and one of the first family vloggers i ever talked about next to mike stoffer was eight passengers because at the time she was getting a lot of inf uh, flack for doing a bunch of crap and she was basically the worst parent in the world and so we saw uh, early on a lot of people saw all these big major red flags so ruby ruby frank and kevin frank are the, are the parents of a channel called eight passengers with the worst logo that ever exists okay yeah, Maria here says she watched every day when she was 15, right? Some people grew up on these families. Some people would come home from school and watch these videos. She was doing six videos a week. They had 2.5 million subscribers or something like that. And at their peak, were bringing in millions of dollars a year. Like a lot of Mormon family vlogs. Diehard Mormons, okay? And, sorry. And one of the big things that draw Mormons and give them big channels is other Mormons, right? So Mormons will consume content that is Mormon friendly. Mormons rarely will venture out, like hardcore Mormons, like good Mormons, will rarely venture out into the world to access information that they shouldn't be accessing, okay? That's, when, that's what they're taught. It's what I believe anyway, I could be wrong, but I'm not. Um, it's basically what they're taught, right? You don't wanna go into the world, you don't wanna know information because as soon as they find out that Mormonism is a lie, a lot of Mormons just leave. And Mormons can't have that because they need their hundreds of billions of dollars in the reserves, right? Mormons have a strong death hold on, on their people for some reason. So I, this is all tied to Mormonism. Obviously, it's a big deal. Like the Mormons having the hundred trillion billion dollar scandal, that's a big deal. But the Mormons are also responsible for this type of content. Because when eight passengers and her sister, uh, what's her face, Bonnie Holine and Eric and all the other ones, they all have family channels. Every single one of them. All these Mormons are all this little tight-knit group. And they are watched by Mormons, like millions of Mormons, right? 
and they get away with being abusive. That's exactly what happens. And Ruby was abusive in so many ways. I posted something on the Reddit forum today, Eight Passenger Snark, about the worst things that Ruby and Frank and Kevin have been doing over the years. Now, Kevin's not generally a main staple in the channel. He's in there a bunch of times, but Ruby's the one that's the main is the main character, right? Any questions so far? Joseph Smith can kiss my ass. Okay, Joseph Smith's a douchebag. He is a pedo. So let's be real. We do know why she was arrested. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, we're talking about it. Zombie Love Productions, we're talking about it. We haven't gotten there yet. Kevin is the dad. Okay, so Kevin Frankie and Ruby Frankie are the parents. Now, this is unclear. All I have is arrest records for Jody and Ruby. Now, we're going to get to the Jody thing in a minute, but we're just, I'm giving you guys the buildup of exactly what we know, okay? Oh my gosh. The cake with milk. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. I forgot about that. That's true. That was one of the earliest videos I did. They were like pouring milk on cake and I was like, what is, what is happening right now? So uh, exactly. The channel is called Eight Passengers. Okay. Now the channel is long gone. Now lots of stuff has happened. We're going to get to that. So I'm going to continue on if nobody has any other questions. Okay. Who's Jody? We'll get to that. I promise. Sherry said the kids are safe. That's great. Okay. So moving on. I started covering them when a bunch of scandals started emerging. One of the main scandals that rocked the eight passengers world was all of a sudden Chad, who is their oldest son, who is a big draw to the channel, um, was gone. He was missing from the vlogs. And then Ruby and Kevin did a vlog like, where's Chad? And of course they capitalized on it. They absolutely capitalized on this video about sending their kid away. So now what we know, and I'm sure it's all going to come out soon, more of it, is that Chad was having behaviors. We don't know what the behaviors are. Maybe we won't ever know. It's not really our business, right? Ruby made it everybody's business though, but Chad was having behaviors, likely anti-Mormon behaviors. That's all I really want to say there because who cares, right? Chad's, he was, he was like, what, 15? They sent him away to a wilderness camp for eight months where he lived in conditions that could have killed, has, has killed people. This camp that he was sent to has had deaths before. People have died by living in the elements. So they go into the wilderness and they sleep on rocks in a sleeping bag and they eat like bugs and shit. I mean, I'm obviously not, you know, it's safe, quote unquote, but not really. Basically, they go camping for eight months as a, as a, as a way to modify their behavior because the parents weren't liking the behavior that Chad, the behavior path that Chad was on. Okay, so that rocks the world. If you watch Eight Passengers, that's 2.5 million subscribers, all kind of wondering what the heck's going on, right? Here, I'll get rid of these scammers. Holy, there's a lot of trolls in here. Do I have any mods? Jeez. Hold on, I'm going to get rid of some of these. There's so many. How? Do, what is going on here? Holy cow. What is happening right now? It's the crazy amount of... Uh, trolls or whatever trying to sell rice or something whoa what is going on okay i'm gonna make uh, <laughs> that's crazy i'm gonna make this 90 seconds just because i can slow down do i have any mods up in here whoa what's going on I'm just like, I'm, guys, I'll get this figured out. I'm not going to turn the comments off, no, because I want people to comment, but how is it a troll attack? That's really weird. Only 1,400 people in here. Whoa, I've never seen anything like this. I like fried rice. Ginger duck. What is going on? I've never seen anything like this. That's crazy. I've, wow. Anyway, I'm going to turn on, um, 
sorry, I'm going to turn on uh, members only chat, guys. Sorry. That really sucks, but. Because I want my, I want people to be able to ask questions and stuff like that. So where was I? So anyway, they sent him off to this, this, this behavior correction camp and everything else. Wow. This is crazy. The amount of. There we go. Sorry, if you want to be, if you want to chat, you got to become a member. I'm really sorry. Um, I, I can't have, or maybe I can set it so that only people who are subscribed can chat. Subscribers, there we go. Subscribers only. Minimum subscribe time. Let's do five minutes. There we go. That should that should do it. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I was cra I've never seen anything like that. That was nuts. Lush sent the trolls. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, if you're not if you're not a subscriber, uh, be, go ahead and become a subscriber, and then you can comment. Just because there's so many, I've never seen anything like that. That's YouTube's got to take control of that. That is bananas. That is absolutely bananas. Jeez. Anyway, so anyway, that was a big deal. So Chad gets back. They make their video on it. They do. They they. They capitalize on the video and everything. They think they're good parents. And people are starting to really wake up at that point to be like, something is really, really, really off. So Chad gets back, pranks his brother, which is some people will find it funny. Some people won't find it funny. But Betty basically pranks his brother that they're going to go to Disney, wake up super early, and he pranks his brother. And he, he gets in trouble. But with when it comes to Ruby, getting in trouble isn't just like you're grounded for a week. Okay? After he gets back from that camp where he lived in the craziest conditions of his life, it probably changed his life. Okay, he then was relegated to sleeping in the basement on a beanbag chair for seven months and apparently didn't have a bathroom door because of private because he, he clearly wanted to be a teenager and have privacy and the parents weren't having any of that. So this guy had to literally take shits with the door open. Okay, he was relegated to the basement, the dungeon, and was not allowed to have a bathroom door, which is an abuse of itself. Okay, like you shouldn't be able to do that to your child. Not in the bathroom. Now, I know some people will take their kids' doors off of the bedrooms. Sometimes it's like an issue depending on what's going on. I understand that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about bathrooms. Your child should at least be able to use the bathroom with a door on, right? And he was a minor. Exactly. Oh, the child abuse is, is rampant. And we've all seen it. And there was, if I can get to see, there's a petition here. I'll get it. Uh, I guess we can... There's a petition anyway with 17,811 signatures that uh, CPS investigation into eight passengers, which was launched May 31st, 2020. Let me see if I can share that with you. So here's the here's the here's the change.org petition that was launched. <clears throat> Ruby Doodle. Ruby Doodle. And um, that's a lot of that's a lot of signatures, man. Seventeen thousand eight hundred eleven. Although CPS is garbage and they won't do anything about this until now, until we'll see what happened. Uh, but basically, this had got a lot of things, and I mean, at least it was, at minimum, this likely put them in CPS's crosshairs, right? Anybody can sign those petitions for sure. I think I signed it. Yeah, here's another scandal that kind of went down. So Ruby was in her car in her like, in one of her moods. And she's trying to be like, look, I'm a really good parent. Here's some parenting things that I'm doing right now. And apparently her daughter, who was five, went to school without a lunch. And the teacher called and said, could you bring your daughter a lunch? She's hungry. And Ruby sat in her car all cocky like and said, look. She's five, like she should pack her own lunch. And if she doesn't want to do that and do this, she can suffer the consequences and starve. A five-year-old, a five-year-old. We made our kids lunches, especially ones even, I have one who's graduated, till he graduated if he wanted it. Like, I, I, I'm not saying you have to make your kids lunch, but you bring your kid food, I don't care, especially a five-year-old, okay? So that was one of the big ones that went down that got her a lot of flack, okay? Another one she did was, um, what was it? So she was, I remember she was sitting in her bathtub and she was like, you know, one of my kids needs to go to the emergency room right now, but I wanted to get ready. I wanted to have some me time. And she like was in the bathtub with her hair wet, getting ready. And she's like, okay, let's take my child to the, to the hospital now, right? 
This is a good question. Why do people have kids if they can't take care of them? Especially family vloggers. They don't take care of their children. I've never seen a family vlog that has collapsed in itself or has done, and then we've come back to see the actual abuse. Now, the reason we're covering this to such a degree, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. If you're a parent, pack your kid's lunch at age five. That's ridiculous, right? She's not a responsible parent. She's a terrible parent. But this is what makes this family vlogging world so damn scary, okay? Because Ruby and Frank, or Ruby and, um, what's his name? Frankie Frank, I call him. Kevin, right? They come across like they're really good parents. If you look at the video, they're like, we're going on vacations. Our kids love it. They love their life. We do all these things. We live in such a beautiful home. My husband's a teacher at BYU. And they're just like, they're so amazing. Everything's great. But in the, in the end, the truth comes out. And this is the truth of probably likely a lot of fundamentalist Christian or Mormon family vloggers. Okay, not saying they're all like this, but I'm saying the majority are likely like this and you got bonnie holing over there who doesn't even talk to like ruby has been excommunicated from her family nobody from the family talks she has kept those kids away from their cousins and everything else but i promise you it's going to come out that somebody like bonnie holing is going to be exactly like ruby or to the to some degree similar because they were raised by the same parents right with the same beliefs and parenting structure so likely you're going to see that same type of thing come out about Bonnie Holine, like you're seeing about Ruby right here. Okay. Yeah. Chad was miserable 80% of the time for sure. Like we saw this. Yeah. Bonnie would vlog her daughter shaving her legs. Bonnie had people come to her house that were like dangerous. Like they're all bad. Everybody. I'm not saying that Ruby's the worst. They're all bad. All of them. But the, the thing is you got to understand is that these family vloggers, look what they portray to you. Right? Look what they're showing you who they are. And then in the end, this is the reality and the truth for these children. The parents are somebody else on camera. And I don't care which family vlog you're talking about. That is the reality for all of these kids. The parents are somebody else when the camera's on. Life is something different when the cameras are off. And so when the cameras are on, those kids are conditioned in their brain to be like, this is the good stuff. My parent is normal. They love me on when the camera's on, they do this. And so could you imagine what that does to the psychology of a child? Okay. So that's one of the things I've been talking about for years and years. Eight passengers is like that. So many instances of abuse have popped up um, on my Reddit thread. There was, here's a bunch that I did. So where is it? One was early days. Ruby told the youngest to go without lunch. Chad was sent to wilderness camp. Then he was relegated to sleeping on a beanbag chair in the basement for seven months. Then threatened to cut the head off one of her kid's favorite toys. Remember that video? She's holding up her finger like this and she's like, I'm going to cut its head off. The kid starts crying. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the sit down where the kids admit that they have no friends. There's a video where she's sitting down with the kids and Chad's crying. Everybody's crying. They don't have any friends. They're not allowed to hang out with people. Ruby has closed them off from anybody that she doesn't deem, you know, appropriate to hang out with her children. <clears throat> Um, then she became a connections coach after this big thing went down, right? So, uh, and then she makes her kids pay for their own things back that they've been taken away from them. And then remember when she pulled over on the highway to capture that accident that had nothing to do with her and she did it and she put her kids in massive amounts of danger. Like she was on a busy highway, pulled over to vlog an accident that happened in front of her so she could capitalize on the content. Oh, hello, Sam. Come here. Come here, buddy. What you doing? Come here. Sam wants to come say hi. Come here. No, no, don't, don't. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. Your nails, your nails. So, okay, sorry. It's just a bit discombobulated. I never do morning ones. So, that all went down. We all saw that happening. Then all of a sudden, eight passengers decided they're not doing any more videos. And I did a video on that. Like, what happened? What happened, right? And then as it turns out, I think that Ruby and Kevin got a divorce or were in the throes of a divorce. Like they were separating for sure. Like this couldn't, couldn't continue to happen. Sherry leaves for college, doesn't come back. Things are starting to go crazy. People are starting to make assumptions. And then all of a sudden Ruby comes out as a connections coach for this thing called connections, which is like a parenting, like Mormon parenting, Christian coaching thing. Or like, here's how you raise your kids, not in distortion. Right. I don't, you know, they call this thing living in distortion and they say anything that they, they disagree with was living in distortion. Right. So that's all happening. 
which is crazy. We're all like, what's going on? And, and in the back end, you still have all these abuse allegations and everything else. Even Sherry keeping it quiet, but saying certain things on her vlog. Let me see if I can pop up that photo. Um, here it is. Oh, oh, the nails! For the love of Pete! Okay, go, Sam. Go, go, go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so here it is. I know that there are many rumors circulating online about my family. While it's true, I'm not in contact with my immediate family and don't support the extreme beliefs of connections. Please remember that this is my real life. Despite good intentions, speculating rumors and gossip doesn't help. I'd like to ask for privacy from my family's work through this very difficult situation. Please know that many are working on this situation. I hope one day we can be whole again. Please respect my privacy as I work through it. Okay, so she posted this. Sherry posted this. But she said a bunch of things like, you know, this is my real life, despite speculation, rumors, and gossip. But we were all talking about the same thing. And it wasn't speculation, rumor, and gossip because it ended up being true. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't buy her kids Christmas presents. Two of her kids got Christmas canceled. That's a good one, Carly. Thank you for reminding me about that one. She literally canceled Christmas for a bunch of her kids and had to watch their siblings open their gifts and vlogged it like she was a proud mom. Of like, look, my kids forgot to put away their calculators, so now they miss Christmas. It's not like these kids, like, killed somebody, right? Or broke the law or shoplifted or whatever, burn a house down. They probably just normal kid behavior. And Ruby wasn't, have, she went always above and beyond anything that's about punishment. Like, she was crazy. And so if you don't think that, that somebody like Bonnie Holleen or the other sisters who have vlogs are like that, you're wrong. They're all like that because that's how they were raised. That's what they said. Well, I, they were like, well, I was raised, you know, I, I turned out okay. So I'm going to now do that to my kids, which is abusive. The, ab the abusive arc always tends to happen in families that are abusive. It's cyclical, right? You were, you were raised a certain way by beating your children. So you will beat your children because you said, well, that's what happened to me. Unless you break that right? Like me, I would never physically ever touch my children in a negative way ever, 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 ever. I'd never spank them. I'd never hit them, never push them, nothing ever. Okay. That's ridiculous. I would break that. But some people would be like, no, you should definitely spank you. Some people still think you should physically hit your kids if they're bad. Like I'm bananas to me, but this is what they were taught because they were raised in a fundamentalist Mormon religion. It is child abuse. It's nothing less. Exactly. So where's the next one here? So Ruby decides to join this thing called Moms of Truth, okay? And this is Jody. Jody runs Moms of Truth and, and recruited Ruby in there, probably for her platform. There's been speculation that they're they are physically together, like they are in a relationship, but I don't know if that's true because if they're, uh, yeah, d d you can divorce if you're Mormon, like anything else. There's there's reasons for divorce, but we could talk about that. Like it's probably not to that thing. I don't know what I'm saying, but basically like Christian churches, the women are generally asked to stay when men are not. It's really crazy. But yeah, there is, you know, whatever. So anyway, she joins connections, right? And then we talk about it because they've been doing videos about like victim blaming and they've been asked questions. They were trolled, but they would, they would absolutely victim blame. And like, it was just bananas. And it's odd because she stopped doing the eight passenger thing because Kevin was probably like, okay, they were getting their divorce or going through the thing and they were stopping the vlogs. All of a sudden, all the vlogs disappeared, gone. People were like, what is going on? Where is the other thing I missed? And then we, and then I wake up to this this morning. A passenger's mother arrested for two counts of aggravated of child abuse. Don't forget before I read this, everybody. Okay. Who Ruby comes across as. Don't forget that. Remember that these family vlogs come across like they're whole and they're pure and they're wholesome and everything's great and, and dandy. I'll need you to remember that while we read this article, okay? Eight passengers, mother Ruby Frank and founder Jody Hillebrand of the Parent Counseling Service Connections were arrested Wednesday night for two counts of aggravated child abuse. Hear that for a second, folks. Jody was also arrested for child abuse. I'm sure there will be more accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's, I have all their videos. 
<clears throat> well, welcome, Holly. Welcome. So that's what's striking a lot of people. Jody Hildebrandt also arrested. Okay, so you're going to see Jody pop up a lot more now because Jody, yes, Jody does have kids. She does. I think they're older, but she does. Jody recruited Ruby and then, like, not brainwashed her, but because Ruby already believed all this stuff, but enabled this behavior. Okay, so let's continue. The Washington County Sheriff's Office confirmed that they had been placed in custody for intentionally or knowingly committing aggravated child abuse at 9.33 p.m. What is aggravated child abuse? Just so we get the definition. Aggravated child abuse. Where is it? A person perpetrates an act of aggravated child abuse or neglect when... The child suffers serious physical injury or the child suffers serious mental or emotional injury or the child dies from such abuse or neglect. That's that's aggravated assault, abuse. So likely it's tons of mental and physical abuse. That's what I'm thinking. Earlier Wednesday, the Springfield Fire Department responded to a mutual aid incident in Hildebrandt's residence in Springville at 3.44 p.m. for nearly two hours. Hear that. They were at Jody's house, not Ruby's house. I'm going to make this like this so, I can, so you can see me. Actually, it doesn't help, does it? Okay. And then, it is not yet known if the incident is related to Frankie and Hildebrandt's arrest six hours later. But it probably makes sense that it was, right? So let's reread re that because it's a little bit confusing. Earlier Wednesday... The Springfield Fire Department responded to a mutual aid incident at Hildebrandt's residence at Springville in Springville at 3.44 p.m. So that's mutual aid. Okay, it is not yet known if the incident is related to. So it sounds like something happened at the house. Something big went down. Ruby went over to Jody's house. The cops were called and responded there. Jody likely said, let's call the police because that's how big of a deal this is. That's what I'm saying. Something happened abusively, physically abusively. And then Jody or whoever said, let's call the police and get them here. Let's get ahead of this. That's all I can think about what's happened here. I'm not, I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just trying to piece it together. What do you guys think happened? That's why I like having these chats. It's kind of like real crime right now, right? So she something happened at Ruby's house. She went over to Jody's house. The cops were called there. It is not yet known if the incidents related to Frankie and Hildebrandt's, or Frankie and Hildebrandt's arrest six hours later. Likely it is, okay? Ruby Frank was behind the 8-passenger series, which had 2.3 million subscribers on their YouTube channel before it was taken down. The series is run by the couple Ruby and Kevin Frank, a Mormon couple with six children, Sherry, Chad, Abby, Julie, Russell, and Eve. Frankie is also a member of the business team division of Connections, a parenting business counseling service. Jody Hildebrandt is the founder of the company whose mission statement reads, we invite and encourage healing and facilitate personal growth through impeccable honesty. It's so bullshit. Oh my gosh. They also offer counseling for businesses with an 18-week program, and the company costs $14,985. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't think the mugshot is released in Utah, if I'm not mistaken, Plain Jane. Someone who lives in Utah, let me know, but I'm pretty sure you're not allowed. They don't release the mugshots. But if they do, I'm making a t-shirt. Thank you very much, uh, Susie. I really appreciate you. Maybe the kids got to... Got to stand called? Yeah, maybe what happened was at the house there was abuse. They called Sherry. Sherry called the cops. The cops, that's, okay, that makes more sense. So here's what I'm thinking happened. Abuse went down at, at the house. Ruby committed some type of aggravated abuse to her children or to one of the kids or something happened, okay? She then left them there. Sherry or somebody came over to the house, called the police. Then they went over and said she's obviously at Jody's house because that's probably where she goes. The cops went over there. That makes way more sense. Washington County, Utah inmate lookup. Okay, let me do that. I'll do that while we're talking. Holy, there's a lot of people in the lockup there. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, well, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Here we go. 
I don't see Frankie here. There's nobody in the lockup at with the last name Frankie at uh, at the Washington County lockup. Yeah, I have seen share his Insta story. I'm going to share that in a second here with you. Where is it? It's in the Reddit forum. Sorry, I'm just finding that thing for you guys so you can see it. Here it is. So Sherry posted this. Oops, I'll show this one better I wish you could see it better it's really weird that you can't see it better no it doesn't let me blow it up which is really weird oh there we go <laughs> hi all today has been a big day me and my family are so glad justice is being served we've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this for years and so glad they finally decided to step up kids are safe but there's a long road ahead please keep them in your prayers and also respect their privacy So, thanks, mom. Oh, you are now tomorrow. Look, look at my wife got me. She's so nice. Can I have a plastic straw? Please. Can you just handle it? I hate, not for the cold stuff. You can't do paper. It's got toxic chemicals in it, mom. I'm serious. Pla paper straws have toxic chemicals in them. It's been proven. For No, I don't. I would really love a straw, and I thank you. You're my favorite. Cap. But I have to take these these lactose pills <laughs> or I'll poop my pants. So Sherry is the daughter. So Sherry, this is the one that's what we just read. So okay, so we've got the arrest records, and I don't see that they're in the lockup. They're probably been released already. Probably got their lawyer and everything involved. So I do have glass straws actually. We have plastic straws upstairs though, like re re reusable ones. Reddit has more info, whether true or not. I mean, Reddit is a really great place to go. If you guys are on the eight-passenger snark thread, go there. Uh, they're updating it like every single minute. There's tons of stuff going on. I made a post about the worst things. Um, and if I've missed anything, and some people said, yeah, I remember when she's like, um, where was it? Wow. Everyone in the family, like Ruby's parents, siblings, haven't posted anything since Sh Sherry did the first post yet. It's crazy. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. I think it started to blow up and Sherry moved out. I think you're right. Living on six wheels. Thank you very much. Nice guitar. Yeah, I have the screenshots here, but you can go to Reddit and find the screenshots. I mean, I can just bring them up if you guys really want to see them. I think we should, right? Well, why not? I mean, why not? Let's take a look at them. Here's the other one. I'm going to put this over here. Here we go. I'm going to share this screen with you. Here's my Photoshop. Okay, so here's the here's the one that she posted last night that got everybody all riled up. It says, finally, I mean, I, this is a low-res version of this, but basically, I don't know who this person is. If you can see that. But that's somebody. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Yeah, in this type of stuff is going to happen to Dr. He doesn't too, I guarantee you. It's not going to not go away. Okay, big day. Yeah, so there's been a like, so that was the big one that blew up. Cops out there, it's like, a lot of people noticed that how many cars were over here. Like, these are all cop cars. You can't see it, but these are all cop cars over here. So it was a big deal. That was a huge deal. So, like, I understand that Sherry says we want privacy, blah, 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 but at the same time, she posted all this stuff. She didn't have to, but she did. And so she wanted people to talk about it. And we are. Reddit has the mug shots? What? Where? What? Where's the mug shots? I'm looking, guys. Sorry. I want to see these mug shots. I, we need to see them. Because this type of behavior... 
finally karma hits some of these people who deserve it and that's like good to see like we talk about these people all day long oh the link was removed okay so this is the type of thing that we cover not for like a high tone just so but we're like because we are justified and it's confirmed that what we talk about is true right we talk about these people who exploit children and it is absolutely true that they do it and then finally they we like we are we're right and it sucks you know you know what sucks though we're right it sucks because these kids have to live in that reality that's their nightmare and, and nobody seems to care youtube doesn't care instagram TikTok. nobody cares that this is often the reality and the thing is is that sometimes you can see people like this mad mama which i'm going to cover I told Honora I would cover this my mama. I'm going to cover this my mama because it's crazy. Like you could see the abuse outrightly, openly, and see it. But then you've got families like Doherty Dozen and like Eight Passengers and like White's Life and everybody else where the abuse isn't so evident, but it's there. And often you will never see it because they're putting forth something else, right? So Kevin was arrested too. Is that what we're seeing? Thank you very much, MG Bay. Wanted to send a little thanks for hard work. Big love from West Texas. Thank you very much. But what happened to the kids, likely they go, if Kevin... Now, is it confirmed that Kevin was arrested? Because I didn't see anything like that. On Insider? Okay, let me take a look. Business Insider? Okay. I can, we can read that one. Let's read it. The mother behind a formerly famous family YouTube channel has been arrested under suspicion of two counts of aggravated child abuse. Frank is listed on the Washington County Sheriff's Office website in custody. Okay. Here we go. I'll show those to you. Boom. This is it. This is what everybody needs to see. He was in another county. Okay. So there she is. Oh, mugshots have been removed because of HB228. So yeah, there's no mugshots. Where are they? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Here it is, Ruby Frank. Boom. Aggravated child abuse intentionally or knowingly. Holy cow. Arrest date. She was arrested yesterday at... Looks like... what I Military time, man. What's wrong with me? Seemed like she was arrested really late, like 9 p.m., something like that. And then here's Jody Hildebrandt, boom, arrested, same time, aggravated child abuse. What's the craziest thing about this is what what did Jody do? Is Jody abusing someone else's children? Like, what in the fresh hell is happening right now, right? The poor kids. What did Jody, if, oh my gosh. Can we confirm if Kevin was arrested? Because if Kevin wasn't arrested, like if some if some other how do you how do I even say this? If my wife leaves me or we separate and then she gets with somebody else and that person abuses my children, like the lengths I would go. Okay, don't what? Jody has kids, yes, older kids, I think. And they probably hate her too. I think. I think Ruby would go to Jody's. I don't think they were living together. I think that's where she would go. I don't know. So Kevin wasn't arrested is what we're saying. So they'll likely go to Kevin, if I'm not mistaken, right? Jody was, yeah, Jody. These people would openly talk about the abuse of their children. They wouldn't consider it abuse, but it is abuse. Ruby was abusing Kevin in some ways. Look, I... I I don't want to absolve Kevin because he's absolutely to blame for allowing all this to go on. But Ruby does, I think if we I think we can all agree that Ruby was likely the main source of abuse for these children, right? I think we can all agree on that. Maybe Jody took part in the abuse of Ruby's kids. Well, that's what it looks like was happening, right? I don't know. I think what happened was maybe we'll never know, but likely something crazy went down. Ruby left Jody's house. 
Sherry came by, probably called the police, or the kids called the police. Because I think Chad lives with his dad, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, though. But Kevin let it happen. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, wait till you... If you want to know stuff about the Weiss life, go watch my Weiss life videos. Like, massively abusive behind the scenes. Like, it's insanity. With the, he was apparently having showers with his daughters, you know, allegedly, based on insider information. Uh, like when they were like 10 and stuff like that. I'm not saying anything was going wrong. I'm just saying they were weird. And they would like just craziness what the wife's life was doing. <clears throat> Jody was telling Ruby how to abuse the kids for distortion. That makes sense because they always talk about living in distortion. And how do you get out of distortion? Do you beat it out of them? I don't know. I've seen an account with Chad on it. It looks healthy and in good shape. So he's probably likely away from all that. But here's the scariest thing, right? Sherry and Chad get to escape that because they're old enough to, but all the littles are stuck in this abusive relationship and they can't get out of it. There's nothing they can do about it until someone finally speaks up or it goes too far, like it looks like it went in. There was a family incident. Ruby asked someone to pick up two kids that someone, then someone called the police. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. There's been speculation that Ruby and Jody are a couple, but I mean, they're Mormons. So, I mean, that's totally against a religion. So maybe secretly, I don't know. I don't think like, maybe she will, but at this point she's like, you know, we're safe. Everybody's good. Leave us to our privacy. So I don't know. Jody is the lady who runs connections who hired Ruby to come in and became their partner and the videos that they did together about like victim blaming and stuff. It was bananas. <clears throat> it's awful how powerless fathers can be in these situations and it takes for this to make change yeah but if you're gonna be a dad step up especially if you're a mormon or a christian like if you believe in that stuff the dad is the head of the household so step up and do your job i think you somebody will absolutely file for a foia request for the 911 call and it will be released eventually yes they will I've seen child malnourishment and two of the youngest were seen by paramedics. That's what you've seen? Okay. I did hear that too. Malnourishment is serious stuff. You have to assume there will be more charges. Malnourishment? She's just not feeding her kids? Like what? Thank you very much, Jules. You look like you could be a kindergarten teacher or a teacher of younger kids. And you're probably a really cool teacher. Jody's still in custody, but Ruby's out. Hmm? What the hell is going on? This is crazy to me. Like, we sit here and, I'm not, and we we are just watching this unfold. And what's scaring me, making me mad, is that this likely is happening to a lot of children in family vlogs, everybody. This isn't just eight passengers. It's happening to a lot of people. Ruby used food as a privilege. She's, yeah, she did. She used everything as a privilege. Your stuff, your phone, your, like, freedom. Everything was a privilege. <clears throat> if this were to go to court, do you think Bonnie and the rest of the family would vouch? Uh, no. They are excommunicado with Ruby. Ruby is on the outs for the whole family. They'll likely go against her in the court of law. What would it take for you to cut off all communication and relationship with your sister, like in Bonnie Holin's case, right? Likely that they are abusing their children, right? They cut off everything. So it's, they likely knew something was going on. And if here's the thing, hear me out for a second. If Bonnie Holin and all the other sisters and the parents knew that this shit was going on and did nothing about it, also they hold some responsibility. They also do. Because I don't care, right? If, if family members of mine are being abused, I don't care who's doing it. I'm going to get those people out of there. I don't care what it takes. If Bonnie Holy knew that these kids were being abused and malnourished or whatever the case may be and didn't do everything in her power to pull those kids out of that situation, partly to blame. Exactly. Why didn't the extended family not step up? Good question. And maybe they did to a degree, right? So they could justify their own, like, whatever. But 
here's here's a thought in my head and this is an intrusive thought okay but hear me out would none of the family step up because what would it appear to be like on their channels which they all make money off of they all have their own family vlogs if some of the frankie kids were coming into their home right were they making this decision based on their own selfish needs for their channel because of like what if eve was all of a sudden in bonnie holding's channel what would people say then because if that's the case holy shit right holy shit no yeah ellie and jared no ellie and jared are just friends of the family i think if i'm correct but bonnie is direct sister to ruby yes exactly where did that go the daughters posted they tried telling cps and police for years yes they did does jody have another arrest record what and ruby's putting her kids into this oh my god no they th they th get more views by taking in the kids no they might get more views but they don't like what it would happen to like the the dynamic of everything Oh, so Ellie is a sister too. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Ellie and Jared are brothers, uh, sister and brother-in-law. So again, why aren't these these family vlogs helping these ones? I think honestly, because they've got their own worlds going on and they just don't have, I mean, they could try, but uh, try harder. I don't care what it takes, try harder. This is an ice cap from Tim Hortons. Ding. And it's way too big. That's going to be... You guys, I just drank a quarter of that, and you watch what happens to me. Ellie and Ruby and Jody's... Lizard. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I got that wrong. Ellie is the youngest Griffith daughter. Got it. We Here's the thing. We have been waiting for this to go down for years. Finally, something's happening. We all see it. We're all justified because we all saw the abuse. But guys, think about this for a second. As the overarching scheme of family vlogging... This is likely in more houses than you think. So if you're watching shit like Doherty does and in like Eight Passengers and Bonnie Holy and all these people, you, like, you're not your fault, but just stop watching it. Thank you very much, Glarer's Butt Plug. That's nice. That's nice. Thanks for the two bucks. I'll send it to Will. Utah, the definition of aggravated child abuse includes starvation, broken bones, head injuries from hitting or shaking and suffocation. Yeah, she was arrested for aggravated abuse. I hope these kids did not suffer any. Well, they clearly suffered. Okay, they clearly suffered because they were been arrested. The malnutrition towards kids makes sense because, I mean, didn't she refuse to bring her kindergarten or lunch? Yes, this is one of the big things we talked about earlier was that she would do this. She would use food as a bargaining chip or like, a, hey, if you didn't do this, you don't get this. Like, can we be real, everybody in this chat who's talking? Like, I know I'm not the best parent in the world. Okay, I try to be I try to be an amazing parent. I, I love my children, but we're not all the best parents. But can we all agree right here that if you ever, 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 once, ever threaten to take a meal or food away from your child, you're bad. Okay. So and I don't want to I don't want to shame you. I sort of do, but not really. But like if you ever had that thought or have done that before, I need you to go to apologize to your child for doing that. Don't ever do that to your child. Don't ever hit your child. Don't ever physically abuse your child or physically hit them in a manner out of anger. It is never going to be a good thing. It's never going to help. Please reconsider if you do these types of things. Please reconsider. Don't force your kid to eat all their meals either. Just don't do that type of shit, okay? That's for the 80s and 90s. That shit is past. We now know that shit's abusive, so don't do it. That's how eating disorders start exactly. Don't do that shit. Okay, please. I know there's there's 3,800 people in this chat right now. Some of you have done this or think about doing this or think it's okay. Please reconsider doing that. Okay, please. Are they using the clips from eight passengers as evidence? They, I hope so. Pfft. She put that shit on the internet. So I hope so. And if they, I have tons of videos. Holler at me, you lawyers, if you need it. Yeah. Psychological abuse in, uh, often is probably way more dangerous than even physical abuse. Like if you spank your kid, okay, fine, you get over it. That could also be psychological though. But the psychological abuse, the things that Sherry was doing to her children, that stuff never goes away. Never, ever goes away. That that, And that like per permeates into these kids to do it to their kids. That's So 
all this is really showing us is that Ruby and her sisters and brother, they were all abused too. That's what it looks like to me. No, the channel was the channel was taken down before all this went down. So this channel was taken down a couple weeks ago. They will all have a stream fear of food insecurity and awful relationship with food. Yeah, that's the same way. I was the same way. I had an awful relationship with food. I was skinny up until the divorce. And then because of all that and the food insecurity and the nose and the like, my mom was like that. And then when I was had no restraints on me is when I gained all my weight. Yeah, Bonnie, blanket training can be considered abusive. Eight passengers arrested. You got it. Don't watch them, guys. Don't watch family vloggers. Because I think more often than not, this is the reality for a lot of the children behind the scenes. If not physically abused, they are all mentally abused. They are all psychologically abused. Because think about the ways you can psychologically abuse a child as a family vlogger, okay? One, when the camera is on you or somebody completely different. Two, coercion for being in videos. If you don't do it, we can't have this life. We can't go to Disney, this and that. You can't have the toy you want. You can't have the treats you want and everything else. Coercion. There's absolutely coercion going on, right? The, the putting the, uh, I don't know how you say this, but like putting it on the kid's shoulders that they're the reason you pay your bills. And this is, this is a lot of family vloggers, kids who have come out on the threads have said this, that parents are like, look, if we don't do this, they put it on their children to say, if we don't do this, we can't have any of this. You can't do the fun things. So you're putting pressure on your child to be the one that pays your bills. Look at what happened with um, uh, Jeanette McCurdy in the book. She was, she was the reason her family made any money. That's on your kid's shoulders? You want to put that responsibility on your child's shoulders? That's abuse. There's no other way to put that. Okay? Yeah. Exactly. And I want you guys to see this. Imagine how awful it is behind the scenes for these poor kids. I want you to realize that that's like a reality for a lot of these children, everybody. For a lot of them. Think about living in a family vlog like LeBrant's house. And having strangers come at you and, 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 and know that there's hate online about you and everything else. And you're just growing up in this thing. Imagine when you go to bed. Do you feel good at night? No. Your parents are abusing and exploiting you. You know it too. So this is just the reality, guys. This is our wake-up call, but the reality of what's going on. It's happening. Every child deserves to be a kid, not a mini adult. And this is like, what a great statement, Allie. What a great statement. And so many of these children, if you look at their vlogs, like dressing up as a 21 year old, pretending I'm pregnant for a day and all these kids and they're dressing them in like fancy clothing. And they're like, we're working, we're doing ad reads. These children are not children. They're employees. That's also abusive. They're abusing child labor laws. You know, a, a child is not even allowed to be on a screen for money until at least 15 days old. How many of these kids are born on YouTube? Literally birthed from a vagina on a camera onto YouTube, okay? There are so many versions of abuse that are happening that we're all turning a blind eye to apparently because it's not so bad. These are all signs of abuse. These children are all going to suffer from it. Even people like Alex from Dr. He doesn't comes to mind because he wants to be a vlogger. He likes the attention he gets. And he's like, you know, he likes the flag. He's got hundreds of thousands of subscribers on TikTok and everything else. But the amount of bullying that guy gets on online is astronomical. And there is no way it doesn't affect him. Okay. And that doesn't happen without Doherty doesn't exposing her children. So even the exposing of the children, the exploiting of them in itself is abuse. Sherry is Ruby's oldest daughter, if you guys are wondering. Okay, she's the eldest. Chad's the second. And there's been some stuff that they said online that they know they don't want online anymore, okay? Like, Sherry has said some things that she probably doesn't, you know, Chad doesn't want online anymore. And they're kids, right? The things that went on inside of that home because of the shelter, the, the nature of the shelterness, or whatever you want to call that, I mean, it's probably way more scary than any of us would want to think about. That's what I'm saying. Yes, please hit the sm smash the like button and subscribe if you're in this channel. Um, lots of people in this chat. It's a really, really important topic because, and here's why, and I've said this if you're just catching up, because we're finally being 
justified in everything we say here because again i need you guys to realize this isn't just an eight passengers problem this is likely the lion's share of all of these people do this to their children to some degree whoa the mills family has a time clock for the kids to use for chores what the f see these people are crazy and they, and they're so they're so wrapped up in the fact that they think they're untouchable that they will put this shit on the internet. That that time, like, remember when we grew up in the '80s and '90s, the way that we that we were parented, that is no longer the way we parent now. This is going to be in ten years. We're going to look back on this type of shit and be like, I can't believe we did this. I cannot believe that we allowed this to happen. What if Judy, Jody was telling Ruby to withdraw food or something crazy like that while Jody's in custody? I think it's not just food, everybody. I think food is probably likely one of them. Okay, but I think there's abuse. There is physical abuse. I honestly think that there's physical abuse. I can see. I was physically abused as a child from my mother. I can see that in Ruby. I can see it in her. My folks definitely abused me psychologically. I was abused mentally and psychologically as well and you know what it turned me into turn me into funny <laughs> check on your funny friends a lot of them have trauma okay i'm serious yeah she could withhold anything especially christmas remember we said that earlier she withheld christmas for some of her children christmas jesus's birth was a punishment for some of these kids you don't think that's gonna be a core memory She withheld love, but there was never love. Let's be real, my beavers. There was never any love. Let's be real. Odds of this in the same day as your chat with Fox? Oh, I don't know. Like, let's talk about the love thing for a second. Is there love if you are... Could I mean, I understand if you're having... Like, how do I say this? There's an article by Daily Mail about Kevin Ruby from 2020, but then defending their child abuse. I saw that. Um... Yeah, this is a good shirt. Check on your funny friends. Because, <laughs> check on your... Um, like, as a dad of, who raised teenagers, okay? Because I adopted two boys as teenagers. I can understand how sometimes it can be really difficult and sometimes you have to take drastic measures, right? I can understand, especially because I'm adopted dad. And uh, when it comes to adoption situations, it can be really hard. This kid isn't adopted. So, I, like, I, there is... A, I'm not going to try to say not all of it is wrong, but at the same time... Do you think it really, really warranted Chad going away for eight months to live in the wilderness? What do you think he did? And it's still to this day, we don't know. We don't know. Likely had to do something with sex, right? Depending on what it was, right? He was probably just discovering himself as a normal teenage boy, okay? Just saying. But that's not kosher for Mormons. You're not supposed to be doing any of that stuff, okay? So that's likely what it was. And so it's, it's never going to be justified for that type of thing, Right? I can understand if your kid's violent or, you know, perpetually breaking the law or something or hurting animals. Like there's, there are, obviously it's on a spectrum. But do we believe that Chad deserved eight months away knowing now what we know about Ruby? Do you think that's, do you think he deserved it? Yeah, connections better be shut down. They won't. It's a private company. Can't do anything about it. They could just, we could just expose them. Ruby was arrested for aggravated assault. Looks like two counts of aggravated child abuse. Because the sister's the one that called her and the family came. Are you sure? Maybe. I remember Ruby saying she was kicked out of private school for fighting, but I could be remembering wrong. I'm, I'm, I believe it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I talked about this a little bit. He slept on a beanbag chair for eight, seven months and had no bathroom door. Don't do that to a teenage boy. I'm sorry. Or any to any human, actually. Like, can I shit with a door closed, please? Like, thanks. No, kids were not homeschooled. Not, not as far as I'm, I'm aware. How do we stop family vloggers? You stop watching them. You lobby your lawmakers to make laws to force social media platforms to demonetize videos with minors in them. That's one of the big ones. As soon as 
miners are demonetized on these platforms, you won't see them anymore. Not to the degree you see them now. You will not see them anymore. If you can't make money off these kids, why would they? <clears throat> okay, those pills aren't really working. <laughs> They were homeschooled the last couple of years since this, the year with the song. You're right. That's another thing that happened. Remember when Ruby went in and was all crying and sad because they played, uh, was it Apple Bottom Jeans or something? I don't know what song it was, but she was so upset that they were playing a secular song at the Mormon school. And I think she pulled her kids out for that. That's exactly it. So that's probably likely why a lot of the abuse went unchecked and unnoticed because they were likely being homeschooled because distortion, right? We don't want our kids living in distortion at Mormon school. Whenever I speak up against family vloggers, I get yelled at for mom shaming. Like these people would rather see abuse. You know what? If someone ever says you don't mom shame, do this. Okay? And then say this. Which type of mom am I shaming? I get this all the time, right? I'm a misogynist, a-hole. I only make fun of people's looks, blah, 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 blah. But who are the people that I'm doing this to? Who, let's, let's connect it. Ready? Who are they? They are child exploiters. So whenever someone says something stupid like mom shaming, say, you're right. I'm mom shaming because she's a shameful piece of shit mom. If you are a shameful piece of shit mom, you deserve to be mom shamed. Are you understand? We're sh you, you're, yes. Just say yes. I'm shaming them because they deserve to be shamed. Let's bring that back, shall we? Shame is like something that's gone. Oh, you can't shame anybody for their kinks. And you know what? Shame them. Shame these moms and these dads for exploiting their children. Let's go to church. Shame the shit out of them. They deserve it. They don't deserve to be like, oh, I'm protected by this whole way the world is right now. No, 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 no. There's no victim points here. The children are the victims. And if shaming these moms is one way to get them to stop, use the tool. Use the tools that are given to you. Next time someone says mom shaming, you say, you're right. Thanks for noticing. Appreciate it. Because that's exactly what we're doing. And we're trying to. Damn, I hate these people sometimes. Shaytards cut way back in their video. They, they don't get any views anymore. They suck ass. That guy should be in jail. <laughs> Josh, two of Ruby's kids went missing and were later found. Is that confirmed or not? Maybe the abuse was the kids that ran away. I don't know. I am looking into the this mad mama for sure. Absolutely. And Nora has sent me a whole bunch of shit that's going on. I haven't been keeping track of it, but now I'm seeing it. And oh my gosh, the things that people allowed to do on the internet, right? Ruby was allowed to continue on because she was more of a sweetheart about this whole thing. She was the blonde haired eyelashes and like, oh, yeah, every day. And then it turned out she was one of the most abusive that we've ever seen. So don't ever believe what you see, okay? Don't ever believe it. Think of the children in the back end that are suffering through all this abuse. I thought she would get in trouble for the way she treats her children. No, because see, again, CPS doesn't do their job until it's like way past time to do their job. Let's be real. These kids in the in the Frankie household likely have suffered abuse, and we've seen it for years and years and years and years. There was a petition three years ago for CPS to do something about it. Okay, and all of a sudden today, yesterday they do something about it. See, let's be real. CPS is useless unless someone's about to die, and even then, it's too late. The kids die. So let's be real. I have no, I have no love lost for CPS. I'm not I'm not blaming CPS workers. I'm blaming the freaking red tape and the and the bureaucracy that they have to deal with. They have no teeth, right? And that's and that's by design, by the way. So, don't blame CPS workers. Blame the system. Yeah, wolf in sheep's clothing is perfect example. <clears throat> That's right. We went to church as children. No one knew I was getting beat all hours of the exactly. But we grew up getting beat. I get the belt, the fly swatter, the sticks, the wooden spoons. Our parents hit us with weapons, people. And some people think that's still okay. My daughter is watching the show. She loves this show. I forget. The, it's like this, this black family. It's really funny. I forget the name of it. It's brand new, sort of. She loves the show. 
But the kid, I guess, lit the kitchen on fire or something like that. And the grandmother comes in at the night with her belt. And it is assumed that she's going to beat him. And apparently, you know, he, she doesn't, they don't show the kid getting beat with the belt, but he does. And it's like, that was not, uh, 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 cool. Oh my gosh. Jeez. It still happened. That was a Christian show, apparently. I mean, let's not even, like, I missed you. I get it. And we've all been there. We've all been frustrated parents. Can we not threaten to take away, create, like, please don't. Don't taint core memories for your children. Please don't. I remember I had my birthday canceled when I was seven. I'll never forget it. It's one of my core memories. That's a core memory. Do you really want one of your kids' core memories to be that you took away Christmas? I'm not, like, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. I'm upset because it happened to me and Ruby did it to her kids. Don't even threaten it. Okay? Threaten other things. Okay? You don't get any Skittles for the rest of your life or something. Okay? You can't be a good Mormon and a good parent at the same time. <laughs> Agreed. I mean, to a degree. Like, you could be a Mormon that's just like, goes through the motions, not real Mormon, you know, like a Sunday Mormon and be a good parent. There are good people in the Mormon church. I'm going to revise your statement and say, you cannot be a fundamentalist Mormon and a good parent. How about that? <clears throat> wow. I just, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated that we're right. Like, I know we've always been right, but sometimes whenever, when it, when it does absolutely, when it hits that we're right though, that's not good news. You, you want to be wrong about this shit, right? You want to be wrong, but she, we know we're not. She was arrested for uh, two counts of child, aggravated child abuse. This is why I believe that Ruby's siblings are involved with CPS on this. You really think they don't believe though? Well, I mean, I think at this point there was no, there was no like hiding it. Like CPS couldn't push this aside any further because they went and saw something that caused them to call the police. So this is so bad. Okay. This is how bad this has to be. If CPS has to have a whole line of police cars at your house, that's how bad this got because CPS is useless otherwise. Right. But there is a line that CPS has and clearly this line has been crossed and that's a big line. So this is bad, whatever happens. <clears throat> I'm just going to pop over to the Reddit thread just to see what we're... Update this thing. Because it is like craziness. Someone says, I predict Grandma and Grandpa Griffiths will come home early. I think, are they on a mission? Yeah, they'll probably come home. Hmm. Just reading an article on Insider. I honestly think that connections will be done after this. There's no way they can survive this, but they don't have to be. They can just continue on. I have my Kira video coming out a little later today. Yeah, CPS doesn't bring out that many cops if doing a home check. So yeah, there's a reason this warranted this much pol police activity. This is the th craziest thing, right? Because we all know the CPS is going to go into a neighborhood like eight passengers and be like, okay, well, these kids are fine, right? They live in a mansion. They have food, blah, blah, blah. Great. Checked up on them. That's the scariest part about CPS, though, is that like some of those kids are probably living in the most in some of the worst abuse. And CPS is like, well, they look rich, so move on. They're white. Bye. But if... <laughs> The, imagine the line that was crossed here that they, they rolled into this rich neighborhood and they're like 20 cops. What happened? There's something bad that happened. Really bad. Not just, and I'm not saying they didn't get and feed them their lunch. Like they rolled up in these places and these kids are like 30 pounds underweight. Or there's bruises. Right? Or broken bones. That's what's happening here. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> I have not picked up my yellow bikini. If you guys are wondering the yellow bikini comment, when I hit 200,000 subscribers, I have to do this.
which is going to be fun. Let's be real. Okay. I have to have my butt cheek out and stuff. My wife's like, what are you doing? We did need a little bit of a break up there. This is getting really like these, these things are such heavy topics, especially I should have trigger warning this, but people who come from abuse like me, like this stuff really hits really hard. Okay, if you if you come from abuse, you know what these kids are suffering through, and it hits you hard. If you don't know what abuse is like, thank God you don't. But I promise you this: these kids are going to suffer the rest of their lives because of this abuse. Am I Christian? Yeah. Do I like religion? No. I'm not a very good Christian, though. I swear a lot. This is like it. Yeah, it's so I guess they got arrested last night around 9 p.m. and everything's kind of breaking right now. Like it's 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 definitely a developing story for sure. Yeah, Sarah, so you and I, right? Growing up with an abusive alcoholic mother, it hits hard. We see it. We know what these kids are going through. People who have gone through types of abuse. That's why we're kind of like we have this empathy for these types of kids because we know exactly what they're going through. We survived it and that's great. But we now, but it hit, it hurts you because you're like, these kids are currently going through it and you know the pain of what they were going through. That's, that's, it's just crazy. <clears throat> I really hope the kids are okay. Abuse is awful and being taken away from is terrifying. So they're, your first part of your sentence is like, no, they're not okay. First of all, because they've been abused for many years and we've seen it and it's been documented, okay, by Ruby herself. So these kids are not okay that in that way. They're not okay because they're probably being taken away from the only home they know. And even if they don't know that they're in a massive amount of abuse, they're going to soon find out and eventually have the realization of what it is. But even if they are in an abusive relation at home, they're still going to have to leave that home, the only home that they've ever known, which is also going to be traumatic. So these kids are not going to be okay for a very long time. Eve's birthday's in 10 days. She's turning 10. That's so sad. Or two days. That's so sad. Imagine this right before your 10th birthday. Happy birthday. More noisemaker. All right, come on. That's so sad. We don't know where Kevin is. That's another thing we haven't really talked about here. I don't think he's been arrested, but we don't know where he is. So that's quite interesting, actually. Yeah. The more you share and make this public, the more people will show and see the exploitation. I was raised in a fundamental Pentecostal church. The abuse I experienced in the name of the Lord was unbelievable. I'm 56 and still wrestle with these core memories. Yeah. Abuse is nothing to scoff at, everybody. And so I'm hoping at least some people will watch this or watch Ruby and see what she's doing. It's like, man, I do some of these things to my children. And stop. Get help that you need. And get therapies that you and your child are going to need to overcome this. I mean, it's never too late, everybody. It's never too late to overcome these things, to apologize, and to move on and be better. Okay, if you are currently abusing your children in any way, it is never too late to stop to go get therapy and change who you are for the sake of your children. It is never going to be okay ever, ever to abuse your child in any way. Okay? In any way. <clears throat> Chad is with his dad, I think, or is on his own right now. Yeah. What's crazy is all this was documented on YouTube and they finally took it seriously. We saw the petition with 17,811 signatures on it to CPS to investigate three years ago. And the thing is, is that CPS has a documented history and have all these documents. If they've got a file open, they're like, why didn't they do something about it back then? Why did they let the abuse continue for three more years? This thing is so reminiscent of Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell, abuse and eventual murder in the name of the Mormon cult. Craziness. So, yeah, Jody's getting arrested for the same thing, which is messed up. This is the thing that's really, really pissing me off. Um... Jody was also arrested for two counts of child aggravated abuse. Like, come on. Jody, who's not the kid's parent, but was likely in there acting like the parent.
I don't know, man. It looks like Sherry is the one in there doing everything, so. The Ingham family is proudly vlogged. They're not schooling their children anymore, like at all. Anti-education. Illegal in the UK. Please cover. I will cover them. He's got a book out. It's ridiculous. Ingham's, that guy should be in jail too. Okay, there's so many family vloggers, especially the dudes that we know have done things that should be in jail and none of them are. And have been rewarded with continuing to keep their platform. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> Sorry, I got my morning allergies going on. I think they might still be technically married. I don't think there's any file for a divorce, but they're not together. That's for sure. Possibly. Yep. Kevin isn't on the BYU list of professors. Did he leave? Did he leave? Maybe they're leaving the Mormon church. I don't know. From what we've seen, there's no link yet of Kevin being arrested. I, I, but if it's the case that he knew about it and didn't do anything about it, I mean, can he be held accountable? I don't know. Here's the small recap. Eight passengers was a family that has been documented abuse over the years. Uh, joined a, 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 a like a, a thing called Connections where she was talking about, I don't know, fundamentalist parenting. Was arrested this morning on two counts of child aggravated assault. Okay, last night, sorry. Um, and her partner, friend, business partner, whatever, was also arrested in the same two counts. So that's what we know so far. We don't know anything else. And we're just kind of discussing what we think happened. Yeah, they do. This mad mama? Yep, 100%. You read this somewhere? Okay, I'm Googling it. <clears throat> well, according to this, he's still listed as associate professor at BYU. So he's still there. If someone has the news of Kevin being arrested, don't just say it in the chat. Drop a link. Hey, Josh, hubby and I love your videos. You're hilarious, but also spreading such an important message. Your story also brought me to tears. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys watched together. It was Reddit. It was on Reddit verified, but I don't know if it's true. Like, I'm on Reddit. I don't see it unless I'm just missing it. <laughs> I don't see anything on Reddit. Here's the verified post on Reddit that says, Frank arrested information verified. An insider who does not wish to be identified has come forward with information. We have verified that they are in fact present at the scene but cannot provide further details in order to respect their privacy. Here's what they are comfortable sharing. Please note that some of the contents may be emotional disturbing. 20 plus officers responded at the scene with representatives from federal, state, and local level. Holy shit. Kevin and Ruby were arrested separately. That's what they're saying. So Kevin was arrested. Ruby has been spending much of her time at Jody's residence in a different city. There are reports of child malnourishment. Two youngest Frankie children were seen by paramedics. All the children are now safe and getting the care that they need. Now, are you sure that didn't mean to say that Jody and Ruby were arrested separately? I'm pretty sure it was Jody, not Kevin. Thank you, Miss Carrie. Appreciate it. So I think that post might be wrong because they don't say anything about Jody being arrested and we know that Jody was arrested. Kevin doesn't look like, unless I have proof of it somewhere, I don't think he was arrested. 20 cops, federal, state, and local. That's crazy. Federal, state, local levels. Yeah, something that always threw me off of what Ruby was for saying, once you're 18, you are basically kicked out and buying sherry pots, pans, and house stuff for 16th year. <laughs> exactly. Ruby always touted that like that's her, like being a super mom. When you're 18, you're out. 
but never promised the kids. You know how much money the eight passengers made on their channel? Millions of dollars. They were at the height of family vlogging, making millions of dollars. When family vlogging was popular and it wasn't a big deal and nobody cared, they made millions. Those kids saw nothing. All that money's been squandered or gone or whatever the case, but I don't know where it is. Those kids didn't see it. And Ruby was always like, none of it's yours anyway. She always said that. Damn, and that's why laws like the one in Illinois are being passed, because of people like Ruby. Did she just leave them? Literally, maybe she went to stay with Jody and left all her kids. Has she been neglecting them, is the question, to go hang out with Jody and do the videos and connections and do whatever she's doing over there? And the kids being left to their own devices to, like, not eat and not have groceries in the house? What? Where's fucking Kevin in all this? Sorry for the swear word. Where's Kevin? No, we're a uh, Fox News video. I need the video. Where is it? Let me look it up. Is there a Is there a link to the Fox News video? Okay, here it is. I got it. Hold on. Give me a second. Here, I'm gonna blow this up. It's like the tiniest. Someone from Reddit posted it's the tiniest video, so I apologize for that. <clears throat> wow, it's tiny. Sorry, I'll try to make it as big as possible. Here, <laughs> so silly. Moving parts tonight. Springville police tell Fox 13 News an incident that started in the St. George area this afternoon had them checking up on two children of local YouTube stars Ruby and Kevin Frankie from the popular Eight Passengers YouTube channel. Now, the incident in St. George led them to try and find two children in the Springville area where the mother Ruby lives. They say Ruby was on her way to St. George because of a family emergency and asked a family friend to pick up two of her six children. St. George police have confirmed with Fox 13 that the Santa Clara Ivins Police Department is handling the case in southern Utah. Now, the two children, two daughters, were found unharmed at a home in American Fork. We are working to find out what happened in St. George that initially alarmed police and if any charges have been filed. We'll continue to follow this. New video now. Sorry about the echo. I definitely believe Kevin was arrested too. He's not innocent in any of this. Of course he's not innocent. Of course not. If he no longer lived with him, he allowed it to continue. Now, again, there's not been a conf confirmation of him being arrested. Moving so. parts tonight. Sorry. Spring it's, yeah, there's not been anything that says that he was arrested. <clears throat> I think we'll all find out eventually what happened. Like, we're gonna, like, there's so many unanswered questions. Where is this confirmed, though? Where is this confirmed? I've yet to see the confirmation that Kevin was arrested except for the post on Reddit that said he was arrested. But I think that they meant to say Jody and Ruby were arrested separately. We did check the records. We did see the arrest records. I checked the... Okay, I was on the Wisco website and I didn't see any... Uh, I think, okay, so she might still be there. Following his arrest, Kevin Frankie was placed in jail by the Washington County Sheriff's. Reddit users suggested they were waiting for the mugshot. Okay, so maybe he is. So, <laughs> if that's the case, I mean, this is even worse than we thought. Like, oh my gosh, these poor kids. This is crazy, man. And all it does, again, to reiterate to those who are joining now, is to just serve to prove that family vlogs are not what they appear to be. That in the back end of all these things is likely things like this going on. No, they deleted the channel a while ago, a couple of weeks ago.
We don't know if they're in a relationship. They were in a business relationship. I don't know if they were in a, in a romantic relationship. Yeah, this is it. This makes me... How do you allow... I mean, you shouldn't abuse your kids, but how do you allow some other strange, weird lady to abuse your kids? That's... No! The post isn't accurate about Kevin being arrested. Again, until I see it, I don't think he's been arrested. Okay, I'm going to go look at... Somebody sent me a messenger. I'll look at it real quick. Holy, like a hundred messages. Sorry, guys. So someone says Jody's house is about four hours away from Ruby's house. Wow. Whoa, that makes a lot of... That, that changes things a little bit, I think. Four hours away? And Ruby went to Jody's house four hours away? And left her kids with who? So that makes a difference. I thought Jody lived down the street. Yeah. I, unless you guys have an arrest record for Kevin's arrest, we have to assume he's not been arrested at this point. I think the youngest is nine or ten. Yeah, she was arrested on two counts of aggravated child abuse at 9.33 p.m. last night. Yes, she was arrested. Ruby was arrested. Salt Lake is a four hours away from St. George. This is an interesting point, Jackie says. Considering the feds are involved, they've been planning this for a bit. That's that's a good point. Many cities do not uh, list arrests publicly for 24 hours, so it could be a while before we know for sure. Yeah, it's true. This is Bonnie and Ellie's sister, yes. So here's the thing. According to the jail record, she's still in custody and so is Jody. Does that mean that what they have done is really, really bad? Or are you released on bail no matter how bad it is? Is that it's what I'm thinking? Or they just don't have anybody to call that will have money to release them? I don't know. It sounds like something really, really bad. If there's 20 police officers, including federal agents, something bad went down. Like, and I'm, I'm just standard abuse, but like something crazy. No, the, I, I don't think so because the channel was shut down a couple of weeks ago. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe with the federal, uh, the the presence of federal agents, they were being investigated. So they said this makes a lot of sense, Emily. You actually make a lot of sense. Likely, they took the channel down because they were being they were they got whiff that they were being uh, investigated federally. Very interesting point, Emily. Cheers to you with this ice cap. The link I came across stated that both Kevin and Ruby have been arrested separately. The link that you're seeing is from Reddit. It's not a true link. This is and this is how crazy this how news spreads, right? This is how it works. So can't blame anybody. That's how it works. Kevin was also arrested to a verified Reddit post. Okay. A verified Reddit post doesn't mean that Kevin was arrested. That verified post, I think, is confusing Kevin for Jody. So a verified Reddit post doesn't mean shit in the real world. 
If you've got an arrest record like the ones we can see with Jody and Ruby, then I'll believe it. Stop saying, I'm not mad at you, but stop saying verified Reddit posts because that doesn't mean shit. Reddit is nothing. They do have lots of money, that's for sure. Where is this verified Kevin arrest? Somebody sent me the link. If you send me the link, I'll put it up here. Yeah, there's nothing anywhere. I've Googled it too. It's not anywhere, anywhere that says Kevin was arrested. BYU is in a bunch of states, but there are big ones in Utah, I think. Yeah, can somebody go to the court hearing? Because <laughs> I bet you they're not going to have that out. Can you just go to court hearings like that? Can you just walk in? I mean, the news will be there. If they're already covering this, they're going to be there too. So someone's going to film it for sure. Everybody smash the like button. There's 4,700 people in this chat. Make sure you hit the like button, please. And subscribe. Some people are saying she's still in right now, but maybe she's... I don't know how that works. I don't know how the system works. Is it... Like, can you just be released if they think that you're a danger? Or can you just be released because you can? I don't know how the rules work. I've never been arrested. Oh, I was when I was 13, but just got brought home. Yeah, the fact that the news is covering this is something big, yeah. I hope the children were taken to a trusted family member. I mean, here's my take on this. And I said this earlier in the show. If, uh, what's her face? Bonnie Holine and Ellie and the grandparents are gone on a mission. And everybody, like, if, if they knew about this abuse, and it looks like they all did know about this abuse, they all did. Because they cut Sherry, they cut uh, Ruby off. They excommunicated Ruby from the family for all intents and purposes, okay? So likely they knew. Sherry likely told them. Sherry made in a post. She said in a post that she says, we've been trying to get this done for years. So if Bonnie and Ellie and all the other kids knew about all this, why aren't they helping more? I don't like, I, 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 I it's because they have, and this is the way I'm saying it. I could be wrong. It's because they have family vlogs and that's just more important to them. That's the only way this makes any sense. Otherwise, how could you let this continue? It, right? That's what I'm saying. Okay, says in custody. I think you're right. Let me take a look at that again. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh this page just to make sure we have it. Yep, look at that. Are you so smart, you people. They are still in custody. So they have not posted bail yet. And I don't know what that means. Anybody who knows what that means, let me know. Does that mean that they just didn't? They can't? They don't have money? They have nobody to call to post bail? What does that mean? Yes, this is the one that would not give her five-year-old lunch because she forgot to make it herself. That's the one. Exactly. Apple juice. I'm a reporter and can talk you through the process. Okay, cool. Talk me through the process. <laughs> Bail may not have been set. So they're waiting. Okay, so likely they're waiting for the court to open, go do their court hearing. Then the, the judge says, Bail set at this much money, right? Okay, that makes okay, that makes way more sense. So court's court's not even open yet, because it's only what Alexa, what time is it in Utah? In Utah, it's 7 30 a.m. So courts don't open till what, nine? Good. Let them sit there and rot. They may deny bail, right? Okay.
Required amount, zero. Okay, so here's what you said there. So if you click the, the uh, thing here, it says required amount zero. I don't know if you guys can see that. So when bail's been set, they'll change this number to whatever it is. Does anybody know what standard bail generally is set for for these types of crimes? Depending on flight risk and other factors, that makes sense. Plus, she's a well-known person. They have channels, so it's like, you know what? Yeah. Can they bail themselves out? Are you able to self-bail? Man, we got to, like... Do we have to stay on here for another two hours until bail seats? <laughs> like up to ten thousand dollars, okay. Up to the judge, up to the judge's discretion. So it's going to depend on how serious the abuse allegations are. The tea is piping hot, but you know what? It's tea, yes, but it's the saddest tea ever because these kids suffered through this bullshit for years and years and years. Nobody did shit about it. Here's the sum up for 4,800 people that are now in the chat. Ruby Frank from Eight Passengers has been arrested. That is confirmed. Jody, her partner, also been completely arrested on two counts of aggravated child abuse. Kevin is unknown whether or not he's been arrested or not. Um, and they are still awaiting uh, their court hearing to see what bail is going to be set at, if it's going to be set. Dang. And now I want to like, is there, does anybody have like a live link to the Washington County like courtroom? Please. I bet the principal at the school notified apparently they've been homeschooled since they took him out from playing Apple Bottom Jeans song. What abuse was documented on their channel? One was um, not feeding her child, withholding food. The other one was mental abuse. Remember when she said she was in like going to cut the, the head off the doll? The other abuse was um, not letting her kids have friends. They made their son, Chad, sleep on a beanbag for seven months. They didn't give him a bathroom door. They sent him away to a wilderness camp. Um, she would withhold everything from her kids, even including love. So lots of abuse has been documented. The definition of aggravated child abuse includes broken bones, mental abuse, and uh, starvation, I think was the other one. Yeah, if Kevin was arrested, he lost his job. I think that he's going to have to resign anyway from this whole scandal because he clearly enabled this type of behavior because it's been going on for years, even when they were married, pretending that they were they had it all together. No, no, Sherry Sherry was not arrested. Who's asking that? No, Sherry was is the daughter. We don't know the situation. If Kevin's in the picture, I think Chad might have went to live with Kevin. I don't know the situation. Yeah, I talked about this before the eight-passenger channel deleted. They didn't get in a car accident. She pulled over because someone got an accident in front of her so she could film it and clickbait it. I covered that video. You can go watch it on my channel. Now, a lot of people were like, Josh, why didn't you delete your eight passengers videos? Because this I knew was probably coming down the pike. And now that we realize, I think someone has said it earlier, it says they delete their channel likely because they're being investigated by federal authorities. So I'm, I'm going to keep mine up until all this is cleared out. They might need to watch my videos. Thank you very much, Susie. Sounds like she left two kids home alone. Police called and kids were found malnourished. Two kids malnourished and left alone. Two charges of abuse. That makes a lot of sense, Susie. I think you're right. And now that we know that Jody lives four hours away and Ruby went there, that's that's a big deal. It's abandonment. I think they might, yeah, live in a condo in Provo. I'd love to be a fly in the wall in that prison cell right now. Just her crying, regretting all of her life decisions, the exploitation. Maybe she'll come out of this and be like, tell other family vloggers, please don't do this. Let's hope. Let's be real. She's not going to do that. Former mo foster mom here. The definition of aggravated child abuse includes starvation, broken bones, head injuries from hitting or shaking and suffocation. 15 year sentence. That's the thing we haven't really talked about either because likely this is all true. 
Ruby's not just going to get to walk away from this, everybody. Now there's Jody. So for all intents and purposes, Connections is going to be done. And Ruby, if this is all true, is likely going to spend some time in prison. Good. Let this be a lesson to all family vloggers. All of them should be in prison. Sherry posted an updated and her fam is celebrating the victory, she says. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can... I think she blocked me. No, she didn't block me. Let me just see her. Sherry... What's her Instagram? Sherry... There, official Sherry. Frank, excuse me. Sherry, if you're watching, thank God your siblings got out of that horror story that you had to live through too. But you never got any vindication or justice. So hopefully you get your justice too. She's a narcissist. She probably isn't. She's a narcissist. She probably doesn't blame herself either. She's probably blaming everybody else for this situation. But she does. If she, if this is all true, what has happened? She's going to jail. Everybody. She's not just going to get away from this. She's going to go to prison. Yeah, she's not crying for a kid. She's crying for herself. What time does the court open in Washington State County Court Courts? If they want them, I can send them. I have lots of eight passenger videos, likely, and I have all the ones that are pertinent to like all the abuse that's been shown. So I have, I always keep my videos. Yeah, this is the saddest part about abuse in children. They, they were going to have mental and emotional struggles their entire lives now. That's, it should be more, like, it's never taken into consideration the lifelong, uh, you know, trauma these kids are going to suffer. It should be, like, if you abuse children, it should be lifelong. You should be able to go to jail for the rest of your life. Like, it's just, they can't, they're innocent, man. They can't protect themselves. Anything, any ch crimes against children should be met with, like, the most severe punishment, in my opinion. Ruby's day of reckoning. She won't see it that way. She's the victim here, probably, is what she says. Sherry is uh, Ruby Frank from Eight Passengers' daughter, the oldest. Yeah, this would be nice if all the money that they made was given to the kids. Not funny, but funny. Let's wait for the ukulele apology. <laughs> She will not have any pals in prison. Abuse is a hard stop even for prisoners. Yep. Can you imagine Ruby in jail? In prison? Like living that life? Good. Okay, we don't know this, Rachel. This has not been confirmed. And a Reddit verified post does not confirmation of Kevin's arrest. Until someone has a literal arrest record like we have of Ruby and Jody, he's not been arrested. Ruby could use the mansion as collateral for bail. Yep. Okay. What if, like, Kevin is responsible for, like, bailing out Ruby? Do you think he should? Do you think he would? Mm. Thank you very much, Alex. Courthouse opens at 8. Okay, search for Kevin in the Utah State Inmate Records. He's not there, yeah. He's not been arrested. He wasn't there. He wasn't living in the house. He wasn't the one abusing the kids at the point. Like, I don't think. But he was definitely letting it go on. And the thing is, if Kevin knew that this was going on, why didn't he fight for his kids more? What's that all about? Someone needs to be looking at other vloggers that have abuse and tendencies and check if they're deleting videos. This is going to be an eye-opener. Yep. Big time. Big time. Kevin better not bail her out. He probably will. Imagine what she did when the cameras were off. Exactly. That's and uh, that's why I'm saying this whole thing is imagine all of these family vloggers when the cameras are off. All of them are like this to some degree. I hope her church banishes her for, to the outer darkness. <laughs> she's already destined for the outer darkness. Like she's gone, man. Jody is the partner from Connections. Ruby's partner in that like parenting thing that was like such a gong show. And she's also been arrested, arrested on the, <laughs> arrested, arrested on the two same counts.
Living on six wheels, probably the abuse escalated since she met Jody. This is a really good point. Um, cause Jody comes into the picture with all of her parenting advice and all of her like expertise and then starts bringing in words like, and phrases about living in distortion and all that stuff. When you start thinking those types of ways, living in like, just imagine the word living in distortion. How do you correct distortion? Right? And so all that stuff starts permeating through Ruby's brain. And this has been going on for years. Ruby talked about this years ago that she was training to be in part of this thing. And like the distortion, how do you get into like, this is like, this is like, again, short, uh, Lori Daybell and chat or whatever, that type of thing. It starts getting crazy when you start thinking things like that, right? And how do you fix distortion? Thanks very much, Tornado Grammy. I joined the $10 tier, but when I joined the higher one, I didn't see it. Can you please? I don't think there's a higher one. I don't think there is, but thank you any very much anyway. You don't have to join the high tier. The, the tier you're on is great. Thank you so much. Um, Bobby Dunlap says, a Utah does have a failure to protect rule and other laws that parent who is aware of abuse and doesn't intervene can be chained, charged. Okay, so if Kevin knew that was going on and didn't intervene, he could be charged. Good, good. Because he, he's we've known the abuse has been going on in this home because they documented it for years and years and years while Kevin was still in there being a part of this. So yeah, eventually, hopefully he gets charged too then. Ruby is definitely in distortion today. Like, you know, she had some swear words in her mind. She probably said the F word a bunch of times. Distor How's distortion for you now, Ruby? Huh? How's that distortion? The only people living in distortion were Ruby and Jody this whole time. And the distortion that... They and hear this out, like, the, uh, the, uh, the effing audacity of these women to sit on their channel and talk about how to parent pro properly. The, like, nobody's talking about that either. The audacity to sit there and tell people how to parent. Say, your kids are living in distortion if they're listening to apple bottom jeans or this and that. While this whole time, they were abusing Ruby's kids. Like, the effing audacity of these people. Oh my god. Mmm, right? Kevin was just as involved in connections as Ruby. I don't. I, I think later, though, they all left. I think even Kevin was like, I don't want a part of this. I think initially he was, and then think it probably led to their like separation and divorce they wouldn't say that abuse is distortion though they wouldn't because they because whatever they're doing that's not distortion only distortion exists is like the one that they created it's always the ones you always have to say the thing you're not the thing well if the feds are watching please make sure you go watch all my other passenger videos you can see a lot of stuff that went down there Recap for those just joining. Now we're at 5,000 watchers. Eight passengers, Ruby Frank and her partner Jody from Connections, were arrested on two counts of child aggravated assault. Um, we don't know the status of Kevin, um, but they're still in jail awaiting the uh, judge to give them bail or whatever. That's what we're waiting on. And that opens up. Uh, wait, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it in Utah? In Utah, it's 7.43 a.m. In 17 minutes? The Utah court opens. Someone, does someone live there? Can you go there? If Kevin is arrested, Sherry gets custody. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I know she is a legal adult. I don't know if she gets custody. Maybe. I wonder what Bonnie and Ellie's statement will be. There's not going to be a statement from Bonnie and Ellie. They knew this was going on this whole time and did nothing. So there's not going to be a statement. They're going to ignore it completely because they need their channels to continue on because they're now tainted by this because they're just as bad. Okay, so they're going to be... <sighs> if anything, their children are going to wake up and see this and, their, and what their cousins have gone through and be like, holy shit, we've gone through some of that. That's what's going to happen here. This is going to have a big domino effect on this whole family. And it should. Imagine bringing someone into your life that then eventually you get arrested with them for like child assault. Holy shit. It's going to snowball big time and it's going to take this entire Griffith family down and it should. They're like a crime family, but they with exploitation. Bonnie and Julie thought this was okay. I hope Sherry gets custody. Here's the thing, guys. I know what you're saying, but Sherry has a life to lead. She's in college. 
she is not supposed to be responsible for her siblings. So hopefully, if the grandparents aren't shit asses, but it sounds like they are, because where do you learn this behavior? Probably from the parents. Hopefully, they can be in a place that's safe. Let's just be real. Okay. But I don't think it should be on Sherry to do that. It's not her responsibility. But maybe they can allocate all the funds that they've made and have in their bank accounts, give it all to Sherry. And Sherry would probably be a way better parent to her siblings. Let's be real. Okay. But I don't think that should be put on her. That's really something crazy to put on an 18 year old or 19 year old. What's the bet other family vlogs start private vids? Yeah. Keep an eye out the ones that you guys watch, even though you shouldn't be, but keep an eye out. Okay. Keep an eye out. Because likely this type of case, this type of story is going to have not only snowballing effects inside their family and, you know, their sphere of influence, but it's also going to have ramifications legally because the courts are going to set this thing. Something's going to happen. It's going to set a precedent that's going to give national attention to this whole problem. So Sherry just inadvertently did what Micah did and might set this thing into motion. We're like, okay, now we're going to take a closer look at this and more laws are going to have to be made. This can only end in you know, the silver lining in this thing being more looked at by politicians and saying, okay, well, this is happening. Let's look at it closer because it is, it is happening. We can take a minute to thank God or the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> it finally happened. She's a POS. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there is a silver lining in this and that it is going to be noticed and it is already getting national news attention and it needed to. Remember what I said, and I've said this a million times, it's going to take something really bad for these things to change. This is one of those things, like being arrested for aggravated child assault, okay? The next thing it's going to be is a kid's going to get murdered or kidnapped. That's also going to change the way this has to happen. Unfortunately, something like this is going to have to happen every time for anything to change. And unfortunately, the child is the only one who's going to suffer through these things. And none of these effing parents give two shits about that chat is also an adult that is true realistically and assuming he has not been arrested children go to their father first but I, I, I yes but if it's true that he knew and didn't do anything he can also be held liable too Yes, I'll keep this up for sure. Yeah, chat's being really great. I think, me, my beavers, you missed the beginning. There was this massive onslaught of people posting like chicken fried rice and Chinese letters and stuff. It was crazy. I had to turn it into subscribers only comments. So I can change that back though now to uh 60 seconds or 30 seconds so people can comment more a little bit now that's only subscribers i think this is happening in washington county washington county sheriff washington county wherever that is springville springville utah springville So she, the court opens in 10 minutes, okay? So we're waiting. So far, nobody said they live there. You can go to the court for me. Like, I'll pay your gas money and everything else if you go there. I'll pay for your time if someone can go there. I want to know. I want to be kept apprised of this. Because they're going to, will they talk about the abuse or will they just say, you know, aggravated child abuse? Or will they say this, in the, going to the court this morning, does the lawyer say, this is what happened, blah, 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 the judge has to take in consideration, or is, is that stuff held private? That's the thing. Get on the private jet, get out there. Like, let's go. What if Kevin was behind Ruby getting arrested? I think, honestly, it's Sherry. Sherry's, or apparently someone said neighbors or something else saw this. So it's, I don't think it was Kevin. Kevin obviously allowed this to happen over the years. Not just now, how bad it gotten, how bad it's gotten. But over the years, he's known about all this. There was a petition three years ago where they were still together to have CPS investigate. <clears throat> oh, since it involves children, it could be, yeah. I, I, yeah, that makes sense, actually.
No, Kevin has not been confirmed that Kevin was rested. Not been confirmed. Until I see an arrest record, it's not been confirmed. So it looks like, so Washington County is by St. George and Springville, Utah is near Salt Lake. So what it sounds like is that they were arrested at Jody's house, right? Is that what we're hearing? So they were arrested in St. George. So the, it won't be in Utah. It'll be in, near St. George. Thank you very much, Brittany Ann. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Like I'm, I'm invested now. This ice cap's almost gone and it's like, I'm, let's go. That's me after an ice cap. We will be able to see if they got bonded out. Okay, that's for sure. Okay. I'm still convinced that they knew about an investigation. That's why the channel is deleted. This is making more and more sense as we go on because it was a federal, there were federal agents. So likely they were called and contacted by some federal agency and then they deleted their channel instantly. Instantly. I need DCP reporters on the scene stat. Ice caps, man. They, I'm wired right now. That I used to, <laughs> It's coffee and sugar, and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I am wired. Since it involves children, it could be in a closed court, but Ruby could share details herself about it all and try to paint herself as a victim, which she will. Of course she will. They have a lawyer, too, probably. Hearings are not at the courthouse. They are held over WebEx according to the county's website. They will read the charges and discuss bonds. So they won't even like, she just stays at the jail and then they, they pipe her in through like a Zoom or like, you know, over the internet, likely, right? You imagine Jess Fam having, a, where did that go? You imagine Jess Fam having one of these? Holy, her hair would actually catch fire. It's Tim Hortons ice caps. They're the only thing that's good at Tim Hortons. Literally. Don't ever eat anything else. The ice caps are the best thing that ever happened to Tim Hortons. Ice cappuccino. But you get it made with chocolate milk, it's even better. It's an extra dollar. Thank you, Jessica. Glad she's arrested because she's a POS. You got that right. Those arrest records. Anything hidden will always be found. I think this story will come out eventually, obviously, yes. But even if, the, if it involves children, they won't make any of this public, I think, right? And you have to do it through f freedom of information requests and stuff like that. Wasn't it also reported that CPS went over to Ruby's house a while ago over speculations? Yeah, I think that they, had, they definitely have a CPS file, like 100%. But nothing was ever done until now. So clearly, whatever happened at this point was so bad that it included 20 agents arriving at the house. 20. 20. Let's take a look at the uh, Reddit just to make sure we're up on the new stuff. So I made a post a little while ago asking about things I've missed. Bonnie just took down her stories on Instagram. Here's something. So Fox News did a story. We know Judy, Jody and Ruby are arrested in South Utah, Ivins, Utah, near St. George, and the current case is also being handled in South Utah. It seems that likely what happened was two of the kids, probably the two youngest, were, were with Jody for whatever reason in South Utah. Something happened to them which caused Ruby to leave JA to go home and to respond to a family emergency in St. George, as she claims. If something happened to R&E with Jody, it also explains why she would be charged with child abuse. Jody for causing it and Ruby for causing it and allowing her children to be in presence. This makes a lot of sense. So what this person is suggesting is that two younger kids were with Jody. Jody did something to these children. Ruby went there because of the emergency. The family would say maybe she hit them. Maybe something happened. Maybe something broke. I don't know. But Ruby is also being arrested because she allowed it to happen. That makes a lot of sense, actually. So... It looks like the kids were with Jody, not at Ruby's house. And they each were charged with two counts of aggravated child abuse, which entails some horrible treatment from starvation and severe, phys severe physical abuse. But if they're only charged with two counts, it's because there were two kids in particular that were clearly experiencing it during the initial response. More charges may still come. Since the older two girls were found safe at home, I think an incident may have occurred with the youngest two with Jody. The whole case just makes me sick. So if, that's the, if this is true, 
and Ruby left two children with Jody, and Jody's abusing them? Oh my gosh. Like 15 years in jail. Because it's likely not just happened to the two kids, probably happened to a lot of them. And over the period of what, the last two years or a year and a half, at least they've been doing this connection thing. So this is likely going to get way bigger than we even see right now. That's crazy. If someone was abusing my children, oh, like, nope, nope. If what's, where is Kevin in this? Oh my gosh. Do you reckon that Ruby and Jody talked about what they do if they got arrested? Probably. Kevin's Instagram has gone too. Here's the scariest thing about this comment. Ruby was the next Lori Daybell. Possibly. Right? At the point where you see her being who she is to the point now that now she's literally in jail because of what they've done. Like this was getting a little bit creepy and scary too. Let's be real. And the fact that Ellie and Bonnie and all the other kids, nobody's stepping in. And they likely knew what's going on. Okay, that's... Everybody's to blame here. The whole spectrum. Including YouTube. I get that they're child exploiters, but saying that they knew about abuse so bad that the feds are involved is a huge allegation. What? Here's, here's, here's my proof of it, though. Right? So why did the Griffiths, basically all of them, excommunicate Ruby from the family? Because we know that they cut off all contact and Ruby did too. Why then? That? They must have known. Otherwise, why would they not try to reconcile or do something good about it? I'm LDS and I'm appalled. I do not agree with, uh, with or apply Ruby's way of parenting if that makes me a bad mom, bad Mormon, great. Keep up, yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not saying all Mormons abuse their children. I'm just saying fundamentalist Mormons is not, and fundamentalist Christian, anything, anything fundamentalist in any religion is not compatible with good parenting. That's what I'm saying. Bonnie deleted her old videos on YouTube. What? Did she really? What? Is she on a deleting spree? Oh shit, do you better not. Let's take a look. I'm just looking here. I guess we won't know until tomorrow what, if she's deleted any videos. Because in the last 30 days, she's got 1.6 million views on her channel. 1.39 million subscribers. Okay, we'll take a look. We will know because Social Blade will show us. Welcome, Jill. I can't agree. Sherry trusts her other family members. I think that you're jumping to conclusions saying they were not involved. No, no, I don't think that the families were involved. I don't think that like, I don't think that Bonnie and Ellie were involved in abuse at all. I don't think that at all. I think that they knew that something was going on. Clearly it was, and they didn't do enough. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they were involved. I'm saying they didn't do enough. Same with Kevin, because if they did, then the kids would be somewhere safe. That's what I'm saying. And that's just me saying it like why else cut the entire why why cut her out of the family completely no speaking no talking everything else but leave the kids just hanging with her if you think she's a bad person why aren't you helping protect the kids so family's for sherry's close so close to ruby's sisters i think the sister's called cps too hopefully hopefully How do we know the siblings weren't in talks with CPS when Ruby was filming the abuse though? We don't know what got them. No, we don't. But here's what I'm, here's the, here's the connection I'm making. Okay. So Ruby learned her abuse somewhere, right? And likely from her parents and the other people that we know of that we can see their videos of their behavior is eerily similar that to that of Ruby's Bonnie specifically is very, 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 very much like Ruby. Right, we've seen it, and they are all capable of exploiting of exploiting the children because they all do it, right? And so my thing was like not like that they're part of the abuse, but like why not just let these kids come live with you if they need a safe place to stay? And so my 
whatever allegation or my assumption was is that they have their own family vlogs the way which is the way that they make their money and they don't want to bring these kids into their families because it would cause people to ask questions that's all i said it is extremely hard to get children removed depending on the situation they could have been calling for years about the abuse and apparently there is a file and there is a there's again we showed the petition thank you rachel we showed the petition with 17,000 signatures on it about CPS reports, for sure. I think maybe it was the other way around, where Ruby cut ties with her family, and her family tried to do everything they can to help the kids. Yep, this could be it, too. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, too, right? Because Ruby was the one that said... You guys are likely all living in distortion and I want, and I want nothing to do with you. But in my situation, if I were, if this was happening and my sister, it was Ruby and saying, I'm cutting you guys all off. And I knew there was abuse happening at the house. Like there's nothing that would stop me from trying to help short of breaking the law, obviously, but I'd be there every day checking on these kids and I'd be doing, I would expose them like hundred percent, but these people have, you got to think of this for a second. They all have brands to protect. They all have personal vlogs where they make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And so they can't just be out there doing this because they have to protect themselves and their brand. That's a big part of this. Jody is an intake B. So we've seen something that's happening. So it's court is officially open right now. Let's take a look at this booking. Okay, so in custody. Okay, so we got these two in custody. I'm going to keep that open up there. Yeah, this is it. Where's, we don't know where Kevin is all this. Has he been arrested? We don't know. Um, but we know that from what we've seen on the end, the, 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 this abuse and this type of abuse has been going on for years and he allowed it to happen. I think all but two children were left with Ruby. So all except for the two older Sherry and Chad were with Ruby. If, if I think that's how it went down. It's so hard to get a child removed. We made tens of reports towards my sister. It took 11 years and a niece to go to the police. Yeah, and, and I say all these things from a same perspective as you, right? I don't, without telling too much information, I fought for my family. And I wasn't putting up with shit with the, when the abuse was going on. I wasn't putting up with it. I don't want to, it's not my story to share because that's my kids that I adopted. But I did this. I'm, t I'm speaking from a point of like, I did this. I went to bat and went hard to fight for people who were being abused. I wouldn't let it go on, and I did what I had to do. So what I'm telling you is that I, from personal experience, know that you can fight and get things done if you're, if you're driven enough to do it, okay? So I'm speaking from experience, people, not just willy-nilly saying things, okay? I adopted these kids over 11 years ago. Okay, and you think that was just out of the blue this happened? No, me. I'm the one who saw things that went down because I realized it and I made moves to get it done. Because I'm not, I'm not gonna allow people to be abused, especially in like family, like crazy. You stop at nothing if you know your family's being abused. You stop at nothing. I don't care how many CPS calls you have to make. Make one every day for 365 days then, okay? Make one every day. Yeah, we did. We showed her her post at the beginning here. No, I don't know what was being happening. I don't know what's happening behind the scenes. But I'm telling you, you fight. And maybe it was. But if we've known this abuse is going on for what? Seven years? Like it's at least five years we've known since the point where she's talked about how she doesn't like her five-year-old needed to make her own lunch. And we've seen Chad who slept on a beanbag for seven months and had no bathroom door like that. You don't think Bonnie knew about that? You don't think Ellie knew about that stuff? Okay. So we, we've seen the abuse. That's abuse too. So yeah, we do know that they didn't do anything about it. Cause you fight harder. You fight. I don't care. You fight harder. You have a platform too. Bonnie and Ellie and all these people have massive platforms. Use your platform then. 
Use it to help these children. Yeah, she posted these horrible things. Imagine what we didn't see. Imagine what Bonnie and Ellie and the parents all know that we don't know, right? Ruby said in a video that if family is living in distortion, they should be cut out. Sounds like she cut the rest of the family. Yes, this is absolutely exactly what happened. This is true. When it comes to kids, it's hard for other people to get involved due to the rights of the parents. If other family members took the kids before it's subbed, like, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. And I'm telling you, you can fight. And it can work. These Don't forget that these people have massive platforms and they can use those platforms to, to help these children. But they don't want to, right? They don't want to air their dirty family laundry out to the world because they need to protect their brand, that they're so perfect and everything's amazing. Like, let's take that into consideration. I know a lot of you guys are upset with me for saying that stuff, that they didn't fight. And maybe they did. Of course, hopefully they did. But I don't think they fought hard enough because they have massive platforms. And if you go on their channels, you see nothing about any of this stuff, right? They're all, they all flaunt about how they're so real and raw all the time. But they're not showing the real side of anything, right? If you have a massive platform, millions of followers, and you know that your nieces and nephews are being abused, why not use that platform to be like, hey, everybody, this is happening right now. And we don't think this is cool. Do something about it. Do something about it. Court's open now. Okay, I'm keeping my eye on the on that thing for sure. A normal CPS case would have three officers respond. 20 plus federal agents means something insane is going on. Yeah, big time. It is possible that the Griffiths have reported and tried to help, but kept it offline to try their best to protect the children. Publicizing the fight could have made it far worse for the kids. Well, it's public now. Sometimes you just got to do something drastic to help kids. I'm unapologetic about that. You just got to do what you got to do. How are you protecting kids by keeping things private? Honestly, if you, the reason you would use your platform is to leverage it to put pressure on Ruby and Kevin to stop doing these things or to pressure CPS to do it. You got strangers out here on the internet creating petitions with 17,811 signatures and you got immediate family who are on their vlog every day talking about how real and raw they are saying nothing. Ruby's four siblings have tons of money and they have access to resources that the average person doesn't, like lawyers. Yep. Bonnie was the only one with free Chad campaign, but she did it half jokingly. Yeah. Bonnie definitely has abusive tendencies and she showed it on camera. I, I, here's what I'm telling you. Bonnie and Ruby are like cut from the same cloth. They are raised by the same parents. Those kids were raised like this. That's why they exhibit, that's why they exhibit these behaviors. They think it's normal to do that. They think it's okay. So they're, they're very similar. And this is probably going to be a big wake up call for Bonnie because her children are going to see this and they're going to be like, wait a minute. If they, if they find out what type of abuse has happened and they realize that, oh, that's abuse, they're going to now wake up to the fact that maybe, oh, shit, I was also abused then, if that's what abuse is. That's what's going to happen here, everybody. Who's Julie? Another sister? Yeah. April and Davy's son, Orgel, stabbed a kid at school and he got away with it. Nobody's speaking up on these channels about anything. A family member might be getting abused, but I've been cut off completely and I want to make call CPS, but I don't know where they even live or what I should do. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying there's, I, I'm not, I don't have the answers. I'm not saying that it's always going to end up great. Okay. But I'm saying you fight with what you have. Okay. And if you're, and if what you have is money, 
to hire a lawyer, then you do it. If what you have is a platform to expose them, then you do it. Okay. If what you have is the ability to go and help these kids, then you do it. Just do it. You got Sherry out here doing it as much as she possibly can. Okay. But not the family. The, the family didn't do anywhere near as much as Sherry did. Bonnie was outwardly abusive to her daughter when she was very young. Not so much now. The entire family had to know that was going on with Ruby. Yeah. So I hope they get jail time, but unless more charges come, they'll probably just get probation. I think more charges are going to come because they're going to be able... At this point now, they've got the kids and they're, and they're questioning the kids and they're taking statements and everything else, right? And the kids are going to have their ad litem attorneys and everything in there. But they're going to now see the this abuse thing unfold in front of their eyes. There are more charges coming, right? There, <laughs> Most kids live in situations like this. They don't know they're being abused. I didn't realize the depths of my abuse until I was way older and realized, oh my gosh, the abuse was crazy. Because when you live in that reality, that's the only reality you know. So it's normal for you. Until you realize it wasn't normal. Then that's when trauma and everything starts like flooding into you. That's the craziness of all this. The future ramifications and the damage it does later when these kids have the realizations is the real problem. Sherry had an open door policy with Julie, but Julie just moved to Kansas City. Okay. So if you're just joining us, Ruby Frank from E-Passengers was arrested with Jody. What it looks like is that the kids were with Jody and being abused at Jody's house. Let's be real here though for a second. Why were the kids split up between two houses? Why would Jody have two and Ruby had two? Where's Kevin? Like Kevin is just like the linchpin in this whole thing. There's something we're missing that's going to come out and we're all going to be like this. What the? That's where's Kevin? Man, is there been child, like, um, what's it called? Alienation here? Did he not want them? Did she just, did, I, it doesn't even make any sense. Bonnie explained in a video how she trained her kids to be obedient by blanket training. Yeah, they, don't get it twisted. Bonnie is like a, is a diehard crazy person. Let's be real. She's not someone you mess with. She is a very strict parent. There is likely what we think be considered abuse in that type of house, of course. Guys, unless you have an arrest record for Kevin, he was not arrested. Not that I've seen anyway. Blanket training is when you train a child, a toddler, to lay in a square blanket and not move from it while they play. It's very restricting and it's, don't do it. Just don't do it. It's selfish parenting is what it is. It's crazy. I think Kevin wasn't allowed to be present with the kids. Something tells me there is parental alienation here because Ruby and Jody were probably like, he's living in distortion. And so when they start believing these types of things, like this crazy cultish type of belief, if they believe truly in their hearts that other people are living in distortion, they're going to do everything in their power to keep their kids away from distortion. Of course they will. That's, that, I hope all this comes out in the courts too. And if that child moves from the blanket, they use physical punishment, but don't spank them or slap them. Crazy. The Duggars use blanket training. It's all you need to know. Duggars. They can kiss everybody's ass. Okay, I'm going to refresh that page. See if they've been seen. Still in custody. No bail bond has been set yet not that i can see i don't know how fast that website gets updated either it might be every 24 hours so distortion in ruby in um jody's case in connections is that basically you're living in sin 
so anything they just use the word distortion instead so like if you're if you're thinking that secular music is great to listen to you're living in distortion right if you think that um they are even saying that like they would victim blame girls who are being essayed and that's distortion right if your kid is misbehaving they're living in distortion if they want to do something that's outside of your religion they live in distortion it's basically for all intents and purposes it's living in sin that's it what they think is sin is distortion it just changed it some people forget that abuse is not just putting your hands on your children or someone there is physical mental and emotional abuse as well exactly I hope the kids will not be put in child services. I hope not. That's not a place for those kids. There are six prisoners. I made this joke a long time ago called six prisoners. And I made that thing. And it's like, that's, and it's, I know it was a joke at the time I made it, but that's never been more real. Those kids were living literally in a prison, an abusive prison. But child abuse isn't distortion, right? Exactly. Like it, it, distortion, like like any church or anybody that talks about sin, they're never going to mention their own sin. You got so many pastors on stage who are like severely obese talking about sin, but they're not going to talk about their sin, right? It's only whatever they claim to be. That's like that's why cults are the way they are. They get to make the damn rules about what things are. But someone, no one ever asked them, is abusing your child living in distortion? Because they would say no. She's been arrested for aggravated child abuse. Two counts. Her and Jody both. I'm refreshing the page. I don't know how often they update the page, but they're, according to the page, they are still both in custody. Ruby already exploits her children. Jody and her and their organization are probably under investigation and probably, I hope I'm wrong, for CP. I don't know about that, but I've never heard anything like that. Ruby's parents are on a Mormon mission to Hawaii. I love these Christians who go to like, we're just like, we're sacrificing for the Lord in Hawaii. <laughs> stop doing, like, if you guys go to church, can we stop sending people to like exotic locations for missions, please? If you want to go help somebody, go somewhere where it's, they need help. The page I'm looking at is the, uh, what? Well, uh, here, I'll put it in the chat here. There, I put it in the chat. Yeah, courts are usually behind. So likely they've been, you know, it's 20 minutes since the court's been open. Depending on their last name, I don't know, I guess they've been seen. Not yet, probably. There's like a bunch of people ahead of them. If it goes by... If it goes by last name, I don't know. No, there's no... The family members are not going to make posts about this. They're not going to talk about this. Because it taints them too. Oh, the parents are in Serbia. Jeez. Yeah, I can pin a comment, actually. Let's see if we can do that. It's... Can I pin that? Pin. There we go. Pinned it. They could possibly be there overnight or over the weekend. Depends on when a judge can see them. Happens often that judges won't see them until Monday. Ooh. Let's hope that happens. Let's hope they can just sit and wallow in their misery for three days. That would be great, actually. Let's do that. Someone just said Sherry has an update. Let's take a look. I got her up here on my Instagram. Instagram.
There's no update. No update. I'm on her story. There's no update. So, the, okay, the law is they have to see a judge within 24 hours. Okay. Okay. I say Jody flips on Ruby, but it looks like Jody was the one that did the abuse in that Ruby just went there and is being charged with it because she allowed it to happen. That's what it looks like. Oh, if she, it's Labor Day. That's right. It's a whole long weekend. Let's hope they stay in there for the weekend, eh? Let them simmer. Let's hope. <laughs> What's the judge going to say if Ruby Doo says the judge is living in distortion? <laughs> Yeah, Jody. I think Jody is a lot. To be, to, yeah, lots has changed with Ruby since she started doing this parenting thing. And remember, she was talking about this years before she even did this. So she was like being brainwashed into this way earlier. Hmm. Very interesting. So there is still speculation on the Reddit thing that Kevin was arrested, but um, the source mentioned he was arrested in a different county at the time of the arrest, so his will likely take longer to process. I believe the website says about 24 hours. It would be surprising if his children were abused and he wasn't charged with anything. So it's still out there, but we just haven't got any proof yet. Just sent a screenshot of Sherry's story. Maybe she has you. No, I'm, I see her. I'm not blocked. So if you mean the story that we already talked about, yeah, yeah, no, we already showed that. If you, if that's you who sent that to me, we already showed that earlier. Can you imagine Ruby in a big cell telling everybody they're living in distortion? Yeah, this is it. This is the video. Sarah's right. She was so excited. She walked into the kitchen with these huge binders full of stuff to learn this program and how to be a parenting coach. We did a video on it because we're like, Ruby, a parenting coach? After all we know about her, you're going to be a parenting coach? That's what we were like, what? You're out of your mind, lady. She's right. Yeah, Sarah, you got that right. She's going to see some distortion. That's right. She, if she thinks living in distortion is like your kid's just acting up, wait till she sees what goes on inside prisons. Lots of distortion. Oh, we'll keep you updated for sure. Yeah, I mean, prison is not what it once used to be, right? Like, or getting bond, like, there, there's some that place have no cash bail now and stuff like that for, like, nonviolent offenders and stuff. But this seems like an, if it's true, it could be a violent offense. So, that's crazy. It might make a difference to, to see what type of thing happens in this court, too. Because if it's a violent offense, won't it be treated differently with the bond and everything else? No, I got work. To, I got to go to work. I won't be live all day. Judge Bayless said at 30,000. Ruby, 30,000. You seeing that? Is it updated? What? I don't see that. I don't see it.
That's true. If she's bonded out, she won't be able to see the kids. Oh, 30, yeah, $30,000. $30,000? Yeah, she became the, didn't she become an audio meme? That's right. That's right. That's just, whatever the bond's going to be, they are going to be memes of Ruby saying, $30,000? You know that's going to happen. Who are they going to bail them out? Especially if Kevin has been arrested, who is going to bail them out? Because hopefully nobody. Here's my question. Nobody answered because I don't know. But can you bail yourself out? But I, I, can you bail yourself out is the question, though. Oh, can you use lawyers? Okay. Okay. Uh, you, I think you can find a you can file a FOIA for anything and get it. Like that's the whole point of these things. There, if you're publicly funded, basically unless children are involved, like you see the kids, I don't think you can. They might blank out the kids. They won't release the footage until it's all blanked out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can file a FOIA for the for the body cam footage. What? What? I don't see why do you keep people saying Sherry's asking for footage. Where are you seeing this? I, unless I just. Okay, got it. Here we go. I need your help. If you have links to any questionable or concerning connections or eight passengers videos, please DM them to me. It's too much for me to sort through myself. Damn, something's going on. Wow. Wow. Okay. We don't know where the kids are. We're not going to know. We shouldn't know anyway. Everybody, if you're watching the show, we got 5,600 people, almost 5,700 people in this chat. Any videos you know on the connection site, head over to the Facebook group right now on the connections before they get a chance to delete it because someone's going to be in there dirty deleting pretty soon and you know it. Please head over to the Facebook group of connections or anywhere there's connections. Download every single video you can get your hands on. Um, I have a lot of eight passengers videos that I will send as well. Um, but if you guys are in here doing this, please head over to connections because that's where a lot of the stuff is going to rest because that's her and Jody. So go get every single video that's on the connections page right now. I think I'm blocked from the page. Let me just check. Because it's a private page. So if anybody has access to it, please get in there. Uh, connections. Connections. I think I'm blocked. Moms of Truth. With Jody and Ruby, there's 13,000 members in there. Okay, I'm in. They didn't block me. What the heck? What? I'm in there. That's crazy. Justification is another way to say I'm going to lie to get what I want. Justification is distortion. Look at all these people in here. Putting up stupid shit. Here's the videos. Okay, I'm going to use my program and download every single one of them if I have it still. How to download. I'm in the private one though. I'm actually in the private one. I don't think there's a program that allows you to download all videos at once. That would be nice though. But as long as she's in jail, she can't get out and delete them. 
So this is a perfect opportunity to get in there and download all these videos. Holy, sh there's hundreds of them. There's hundreds. <gasps> Holy shite, there's a lot. Down the mall. Down the mall. Okay, adding the extension. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Hope no one blocks me out of here while I'm doing this. There we go. Videos. No, I don't want images, I just want videos. Cool. How do I do this? Oh wait, that's not, no, this page. It's not easy to do this. Like there's, you gotta create, I don't know how to do this, man. I'm missing pickleball for this, by the way, everybody. I think too, if you go to Reddit, all the pertinent videos have been downloaded. So hopefully that's the case. Yeah, make sure you spell connections two N's, one X. I have the video of the car accident. I have all the pertinent videos. I downloaded a lot of the eight passengers videos. So I'm going to put those in a mega file for sharing. I'm going to share those with her. So let me just make a file. And I'm going to share all my eight passengers videos with her. Oops. Okay, create that. Yeah, I'll do that. Should you post it again? All right, let's see. No, oh, that's not the right one. Connection. Oh, okay. Because she probably has access to the other videos. Or she'd be a witness, like a character witness, because she was part of those videos. More specifically, connection stuff we are aware of most of you. Okay, 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 okay. I'll just show you guys that just so you have it. So she's saying, more specifically, connections videos. Um, we are aware of most of the eight passengers things already. So someone needs to go in the Facebook. I don't know how to do this. 
but we got to go into the Facebook group and download every video. There's got to be a way to download them all. That's that's it. I have 4K downloader. I do have it, but where is it? Okay, I paid for it too. 4K video downloader. Okay, I have it. Sweet. I'll check. I'll make sure it works. Moms of Truth is not deleted. I'm in that page. Yeah, they want more. This is for the proof of Jody, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. How do I do this? <laughs> oh, it doesn't work that way. So 4K video downloader. Oh man, it's so frustrating. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm trying to get this done so I can do it. I have 4K, but I just gotta buy, get the programmer. Where is it? Won't let me do the Facebook one. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to keep trying that. So we'll keep an update on, uh, if we'll keep an eye on the thing. I'm sure you guys will message me if the booking changes. Uh, hopefully they get stuck in jail. But there's, as according to the website, they're still in custody. No bond has been set, so we'll update you tonight, and uh, we'll go we'll get back to this for sure. If someone, you can screen record them, guys. If someone, can, there's a way to download everything. Uh, YouTube connections, that's a good one too. Let me just check it. It'll probably be there. I'll try that. It looks like it's all there too. Yeah, it does look like it's all there. Let me just check to see if I can put it in my 4K downloader. Six videos. Okay. So I got that one. Okay, it's downloading all the shorts from YouTube. And now I'm going to see if I can download all the videos. So I'm currently downloading 504 videos. So I'm getting all the YouTube ones. Okay, I got all the YouTube ones, which I think are the same as the Facebook ones, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look the same. Facebook seems to be their big place. So if there's a way that we can download all the Facebook ones, let me know. So thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for being amazing. And I will see you uh, later. We'll, 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 I'll come back on and do a live when it's all updated, for sure. Okay, keep track of this and let's help Sherry if we can, okay? I'll see you later.